Me and my brother Yosho are down on our luck and even worse, we lost our great granddad. But we inherited his farm that will hopefully turn our lives around. We have the challenge in two years making this farm profitable and paying off the old land taxes. Can we do it? Can we succeed? Find out today's episode. Hey guys, just want to give you a couple quick notes real fast. Today's map was actually made by Happy Farms. All links will be down in the description. He's a great buddy of mine. I'm glad to be doing this series on here to support him and his support everything he does. He's a really good guy. He knows what he's doing when it comes to farm maps and hopefully we'll see more great maps like this in the future from him. Thank you very much. Oh, we've been walking for days. It feels like we just got a ride. What are you talking about walking for days? Listen to you. You know, we walked for a long time before it. Oh, well, at least the trucker was nice enough to drop us off here, which, which is, from what I understand, it's close. Yes, yeah, close-ish. Hey, look, there's a Casey's, man. Oh, I'm hungry. I get some food. No, we only got $50. No. We have how much? You know we only have $50. What did you spend at the last stop? I thought we had 100 I don't want to talk about that. All I can say is those scratches look really promising. Well... I am going to go get a coffee then. Watch, we need to buy something that's going to be $50 exactly, and we're, you're going to go spend this $1, and we won't be able to afford it. Watch it. I want a coffee. I'm just letting you know, if you have to, if we have to buy something that's $50 exactly, you are carrying the one piece of wood, the one tree in a town by yourself. All right, there we go. See, nice cup of hot coffee. All right, so it's my turn right on your back, right? No, I'm drinking my coffee. All right, so where, where's this, where's this uh, farm that we supposedly uh, inherited? Three miles down the road. Oh, really? For what this map is that he gave me, it's a rough, rough map, but it's about three miles that way. Uh, at least we got a Dollar General. Buddy, as long as you got a population of one, there's going to be a Dollar General. And when you get a population of two, they're about one block away from each other. Exactly. Let's go. All right. Huh? Let's, let's head that way. Do we want to take this road right here? Oh, you're going to let me decide? I don't know which way we're supposed to be going. You're the one with the All map, right. not me. We're taking this road. Oh, boy. If we get lost, it's your fault. No, it's not my fault. You made the executive decision. Decision. I didn't make any executive decision. I told you that you got the map. I do, but it don't tell me about this road. Well, then why are we taking it? I don't know. I mean, for me being the older brother, boy, you sure do cause a lot of problems. Listen, okay, I can't help. I, ha I have the money making brain, okay? Y yeah, but you also don't have the money managing brain. No, that's what we got you for. You just suck at that part. Well, if you'd stop spending it, maybe it'd be a little bit easier. Now, this is a nice little place. This is a nice place? Nicer than the bridge we were living underneath last week. Well, okay, okay. Okay, I'll give you that. I don't even want to know what the inside of the house looks like. I'm afraid. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Whoa! Oh, don't go in there. Somebody hasn't flushed that toilet in weeks. Well, what I'm hearing is we need to go to town, get you a mask, and send you back in there to flush that toilet. Uh, it's, it's your job. Nope, it's yours. I mean, this ain't a bad house. You got ourselves a nice little thing here. We have ourselves some firewood already pre-cut. Granddad did us a favor here. I wonder what's inside this box. I don't know. We don't have enough money to buy bolt cutters to find out. Yeah, because someone spent $1. Oh, oh, the $1. Okay, gotcha. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> um, she's not pretty. No, she's not pretty at all. <laughs> she's ugly. <laughs> I mean, don't look too bad on the inside. Here, get in. Look. All right. Okay. That's not that bad. I mean, the seat needs a little work. I mean, the outside looks terrible. I'm surprised this thing hasn't fallen apart yet. You want to see what it does if we hit the key? Oh, the key's still in it? Yeah. Sitting right here. You ready? Yeah, go for it. It's probably just pure kerosene. It's probably not even gasoline anymore. <laughs> yeah, most likely. I need you to put your game face on, okay? What, what do you mean, put my game face on? No one granddad. He probably left some jumper cables in this house. Come on, put your game face on. Hey, go get them. No. Yes. No, I'm gonna, I'll let you go get them. Rock, paper, scissors. What? Rock, paper, scissors? No. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, rock. Scissors. Miss two out of three. No, no, you lost. All right, I'll go get them. All right, let's go ahead and get it. All right, it ain't that bad. Okay, here, here they are. There, okay. Whew. Oh, wow, you're still alive. Yeah, Um, we have an issue. I found them, but did you know jumper cables are to jump something? You need two sources of power? Well, yeah. What's our second source of power? Second source of power, huh? Well, you're the one that came up with the jumper cables idea. Yeah, but usually you have something else to jump it off with. Well, yeah, duh. I got an idea. Oh, boy. Nothing ever good comes out of uh, things when you say that. And we'll put it in neutral. Okay? I'm not holding your beer this time. Sorry. All right, so what you're going to do, we'll put it in neutral, and you're going to get behind it, and you're going to push it with all your might. Once we get it to about here, I'll pop the clutch real fast if we can get it started the old fashioned way, okay? Uh, let's just say that we did, and not do it, and say nope, it didn't work. That, that's the idea we're going with. All right, ready? Yep. Here we go. Uh, 
There you go. There All we right. go. Let's see. Uh, there she goes. See you later. Good luck. No, I bet. I guess I might want to go back. He may try to hunt me down. Yeah, stand right there. You trying to kill me now or something? No. Look, we got a truck now. I see that. Hey, look. If we end up with a flat, we got a wagon wheel. Well, I think that has to do with this behind you. Oh, hey. Look at there. This is better in condition than the truck. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, hey. Turn, turn it off. I can't hardly talk to you. Are you sure you want me to turn it off so you have to no, push well, then it come again? Over here, come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Let it run. See this firewood here, right? Yeah. There's a box here with a slot. Mm -hmm. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We sell firewood. Have you ever been to the grocery store? You know, like Publix and all that and like Walmart and, you know, Winn-Dixie, uh, you know, insert Kroger, whatever, insert random grocery store you want to there. And you've seen those bundles of firewood that sell for like five bucks. And it's only like five pieces. Mm -hmm. Well, you know how much firewood we have here? Yep. In one second, I'll be right back. Where's this frying pan at? Hey, do me a favor, turn around for one second. Nope. Just trust nope. me. Just trust me. No. Nope. Well, what are you talking about? It's, I'm, I'm trying to get make us some money. How about this? Okay. Why well, do that when we can sell trees to the lumber company? Yeah, but you're not going to get nowhere near as much as if you sell uh, firewood. Okay. We can sell firewood later. Okay. So how much of this land do we own? Oh, um, what I got told, roughly 150 acres. Oh, my goodness. How about this? We just cut down some trees because, like, all those trees over there we own. I guess we own all those trees over there. We cut down trees. Let's just go sell some wood. We need more than $49, and I bet that over there needs some more gas. Probably so. Like I said, I'm surprised it's running, and it's not just straight kerosene. Let's go. I got a chainsaw. How good for you. You want a cookie? I mean, you said we need to cut down some trees, so guess what? I got a chainsaw. You know, how about enjoy walking? Here we go. And timber! You want to stand underneath it? I thought I told you to stand underneath it. No. Come on, you're supposed to stand underneath it. And I collect the insurance money. Not gonna work. All right, ready? Yeah. There we go. Uh, Come on. Uh, 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 uh. A little higher. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. I don't want to talk to you. Because you know I'm right. Three, two, one. There we up. go. Come on. There we go. There. All right, let's go. Oh, hang on. I'm coming. Hey, how much did you get? 1,304, about 40-ish. Really? Yeah. It was actually worth a decent amount. And after we go sell this trailer, we'll have ourselves some more money because I'm not dealing with this trailer. No strap, nothing for it. I'm, I'm tired of it already. Uh, there's really nowhere to even attach the straps to on this thing. Exactly. That's the issue. So instead of let's put straps on it, let's just go sell it, possibly go get something else, or go get another tree, sell it, go look and see if we can find ourselves a tractor. All right. See what we can do. Hey, 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 let me in, let me in. Ah, oh, love this. Alrighty, so I sold that trailer for $500. That means we now got more money in our pocket, at least. And where in the world is your show? I know I did leave him. Did he go back to the farm? I'm surprised the brakes even work on that thing. It worked really well. All right, let's start loading it. And by the way, I got $500 for that trailer. Come on, here we go. Nice. So we got $500 for that. If we can get about another $2,200, I'd like to buy something else. You go spending our money already before we even earn it. You know I'm pro at it. Don't act like I'm not. All right, Yosho, I'm going to leave here, you here for a little bit. I'm going to let you cut down another tree, get ready to go. I'm going to take this into town. We'll just do this about two more times. All right, now there's another $1,000. I do remember earlier talking to these guys. They said they have an old trailer that I could take a look at, and it's only $4,000 for it. I think I'm going to go ahead and take a look at it. And here it is right here. It's an old wood trailer they have. They said they put some fresh coat of paint on it, and it's $4,150. And it has a rear hitch attached, so we can hook another trailer to i don't think it's that bad of a deal we are buying it at a decent rate and with the rate me and yosho is cutting down laws we definitely could use this you ready to load oh hey look you're back i didn't hear you oh yeah chainsaw's loud oh hey where'd you get the trailer from i bought it from the store for four thousand dollars you're that spending money uh do you want to try cutting down one more tree and let's get one, another tree load up into here and we'll take that and buy supper with it sure sounds like a plan we could honestly fit like another log or two on there but i'm good with it uh, i'm gonna go take this in time what do you want for supper rash why don't you jump on in here and we'll go together go get some supper probably from casey's all right sounds like a plan hang on let me hop in all right you ready yosha yep see what we get hey it's a nice payday all right i got my money uh whatever meet you over at casey's let's eat i agree let's go get some good food let's go home clean up the house and then from there we'll figure everything else out tomorrow sound good all right we better stop by dollar general then and pick up some cleaning supplies that is fair let's go get some food all right let's get some food all right all 
right, there, there we go. Get that jacked up. Now, right, where's Yosha? Uh, I'm on the other side of the trailer. Hey, 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 I'm over here. You blind? Hey, you are. Yeah, I've been here like the whole time. You like looked through me the entire time. I was beginning to wonder if I was the invisible man or something. It was that drink you gave me last night. You turned me invisible. Oh, wait, I can see my hand, my, my feet. Oh, well, no, I can't see myself. <laughs> we need to put you in a sand asylum. Can't help it. Well, you know what I can't help? What? We got a lot of work to do. We got to cut down some trees today. We got to do a lot of work. I thought we were done with trees. No. Well, we, we got the money now to go buy a tractor now and maybe a plow. Maybe get like, a good deal on that. Start plowing up some area. Put some crop in the ground. Where are you going to find a tractor and plow for eight grand that's worth being used? I didn't say it was going to be worth being used. I'll meet you over there, bud. Oh, wait, wait, wait. All right. I'm going to cut down this tree while Yosho's taking a sweet time. Go He's slow. Timber. There we go. Welcome to work. Well, I mean, you left me behind. I mean, what do you expect? Yeah, for you to let's get working. There we go. There we go. Let's see. This tree right here needs to be cut. Whoa! Look at that. You moved that just in time. It's it's funny how you trying to damage the one thing that we have that runs and drives. I was just cutting down trees like you told me to do. I mean, next time you give me a ride. You don't deserve a ride after that demonstration. I mean, look at what you did to me. You made me walk to work, and then you're complaining about me being late. Well, you need to go buy yourself a truck. Uh, if someone would stop hogging the wallet. We gotta make money. We gotta build the farm. How am I supposed to buy a truck, huh? Go do other odd jobs. Go work for other people while you're working for us. Oh, okay. Well, then, all right. I'll be back. Get your butt back here. We still got a load more. More logs. Well, then stop complaining about me not having a truck and give me a ride. We'll, we'll negotiate into the contract, okay? Negotiating the contract? I'm your older brother. Don't even give me that. I don't care if you're the older brother or not. My name's first on the paperwork. All right, I think we got all the wood we can carry for right now. All right, see you at the house, buddy. Look, it's your Christmas tree. Go sell the wood before I slap you. I need you to come with me because we got to sell the wood together. Nope, nope. I want nothing to do with it. You left me to walk both ways. I'm going to go in here in the barn and I'm going to sit my happy butt down because I'm exhausted and I'm tired. You can go sell the wood. How, how about deck the Christmas tree. What? what? Find some pine cones and put it up there. Come here. No, I don't want nothing to do with it. Why are you complaining? Why are you making me walk when there's a perfectly good seat? I'm getting the short end of the stick and I'm tired of getting That's it. right there. Hey. Oh, hey. You, hear? you know who that is. Oh. Do you guys forget something? I forget nothing. Um, I turn him. around for five seconds to get a Coke and you guys are just gone. What the heck? I ain't do nothing. He was the one that said, hurry up. Let's get in the truck. Go. Man. Okay. Well, I'm here now. So what are we doing? We're cutting down trees. Thank See, you guys. Hey, Hey, look, there you go, Nate. You got somebody that can go with you now. You know what? Fine. Stay here, you stick in the mud. We are going to go sell these trees and go buy us a new tractor. Wait, what? I just got here and you're already putting me to work? Better believe it. Have fun. Bye. Oh. There we go. That's for another 4000 All right. I guess we'll come over here and buy us a tractor. Hello oh, okay, there, yeah. gentlemen. How are you doing? Doing good, sir. How about you? I see that you are in the market for a tractor, I'm assuming. Uh, you're not window shopping, right? Well, you don't have any windows, so no. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't see a window here. We need a good cheap tractor that can pull a cultivator and a lawnmower. Well, let's see. The Ford is not a bad one. It's actually a pretty good. The Ford uh, 7910. Uh, the awesome thing is, though, it does have a cab, so that makes your life a little bit easier. All right, so how much is it? Um, This one right here with a cab and radio and all the wonderful uh, amenities added to this thing, uh, you're looking at about 10 grand for it. All right, I said cheap. This is not cheap. I mean, you got this little thing right here, but you're not going to pull a plow behind it. There's no way. How many horsepower she got? This thing right here has hmm. only about 30 horsepower on it. All right, let's continue. For here, I've got this uh, International and the Farm All. Uh, for what you were mentioning, though, I think you're going to get a better bang for your buck with the Farm All. The International's kind of one of those collector's editions, so it's going to cost a little bit more. How much is this one? You're looking at about six grand for this one. Okay, what are you looking at? Cultivators? Yeah, hey, we got some over here. Come check it out. How much is this one right here? Uh, that one right there is going for two grand. All right. How much is this one? This one over here, you can get a, uh, I can give you that one for twelve fifty. What about a bundle deal? I can do it for sixty eight hundred. How's that sound? Deal. Deal. All right. Do got a question? How much is that mower over there? Oh, that mower over there? Yeah. Man, you're just looking to spend all the money. Hey, don't don't talk him down on this. Come on, he needs to spend all his money. Okay, so this here is actually a new model that just came in. So you're looking at about three grand for this thing. We'll pick it up next time. I guess you don't have a silage wagon right now. Uh, no. We don't have one in stock, but I could probably get you one. Can you get like a couple options here? Yeah, I should be able to. If you can get a couple options here, I'd like to come look at some. All right, let's go ahead and get you paid for those tractors. Let's get the work done so we can get out of here. All right, sounds good. Thank Thanks. you for doing business, sir. Thank you, sir. You have a great one. You want to drive the truck back? Yeah, I'm, I'm driving the truck. I'm not driving the tractor. It's like you're breaking the speed limit there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> hey, yo, show. Come look at this. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, oh. 
come on. Oh, oh geez. Is the tree all right? Dead gum. I'm worried about the tractor damn tree, but okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. Where's Yosho at? He must be sleeping. You know, he might be down at a lot of place waiting on us to get there, so let's go ahead and get down there. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know where that's at, so I'm going to go ahead and follow you. Yosho! Ah! What the heck was that? You almost oh, killed hey, me. Yes, what's up? But, you, you know, see, look, you know, when I got the gear on, you know, I got the, the earmuffs on, I can't hear nothing when this thing's running like this. I mean, you hear this, guys? See, this thing's kind of loud. Man, that was almost my first day and my last day here. Eesh. Is there any extra, like, chainsaws and vests and everything? I feel like I need a vest so Yosho doesn't drop anything on me. Yeah, there's there should be another chainsaw on the truck. I'm going to actually go and mark out a little place for a field so that we can grow some wheat or some barley or whatever we need to do. Sounds good. Okay. So right now, we're getting the first field marked out. I think we're just going to stick to kind of smaller fields. But right now, there's no reason to really go out here and do humongous fields. And plus, we don't really need to strain this track too much because this will become the main working horse of the place. I think... I think Yosho and him need something to help them out. And the only thing I can think that would help them out the best would be a skid steer with a grapple bucket. But we just can't afford one. But I wonder if I can't talk to one of my buddies with a skid steer that I can possibly buy for six grand. Because I know them boys are working hard over there and make sure they're loading up the trees. And I think that's just something I can do to help them out a little bit. Hey man, yep. Do you by any chance know where a skid steer is? Oh, you do? What's the price range on it? It's eight grand. Uh, that ain't that good. You know if I can get for like six grand? I need a gr with a grapple bucket. I mean, we really need one badly out here on the operation. Oh, you see what you can do? All right, man. Well, um, can you deliver that today? Oh, you can have it by here in a little bit. Yeah. Well, I have the money right now if you need it. All right. That sounds good to me. Uh, see you in about 15 minutes. What is this? This is sick. Okay. So y'all see y'all's present. This is awesome. What is this? It's a skid steer. Where'd you find this thing? Oh, I called I called one of my buddies and he I got it for six thousand dollars. You're just spending all the money today. I know he is. This is normal. We just made that money. and you're gonna go ahead and spend it without even consulting us. Oh no, y'all made more money on top of what we had before, so we have four thousand dollars left in the bank. I don't see how this math is mathing. I gave up. Okay, yep, whatever. I'm letting them boys keep on working. I'm gonna make another field here while they're doing that. I'm gonna go eventually help them cut down more trees to keep that going. Um I think for right now I'm just gonna make like three good pastures for ourselves so that we're able to keep ourselves busy throughout the year now just because we're cultivating it does not mean we're planting them all at one time i want to kind of plant them at separate days of the year just to kind of keep them rocking and rolling and to do more because we own a lot of acreage so that means we need to take advantage of all the acreage we can i eventually want to invest into some greenhouses if you invest in the greenhouses they're a good way just to make some money um eventually maybe like some cows and stuff like that i really don't know how i feel about that all right, your show and patty how y'all doing over there doing pretty good i'm grinding up stumps all righty one y'all want to switch to me sure i've got two fields marked out okay all right just gotta plow the dirt that's in the middle of those two field outlines got it we gotta pull over it like this and they'll slowly but surely start chopping away at it nice hey nate you switch with uh yo show yeah i let him take over the tractor for a little bit let him have some fun i figured i'd take over this for a little bit and at least knock out some trees all right i got most of those now cleared out we'll drop that there pick up the good old log grapple. How's it been working for y'all, boy? I mean, it, it seems like he's been doing pretty good. He's been able to get about two at a time sometimes, but that was when I cut him a little shorter. Maybe start with one. If you feel a little more confident, grab two. But I'll grab the smaller ones. If I say load up the small ones if you can. If you can pick it up by hand, I'll just pick it up by hand, throw it in there. Yeah, some of these I can't. Uh. This right here is what you call really working. I'm better than loading this stuff by hand, i tell you that much. Yeah, I'm getting splinters. There we go. Very nice. Perfection. All right, we got that there done. I'm just going to kind of set this right here. Or actually, you want to go to town real fast and I cut down some trees? Or do you want me to go to town? I'll take a trip. We'll get the bucket real fast. Now we got him loaded fully up. And hopefully we can get this stuff rolling good and tight. <laughs> How y'all boys doing this morning? Yeah, I was already kind of looking around and checking out some of the equipment and seeing how we were doing. Yeah, I feel that after we got done doing that work yesterday. I know I finished that road. You finished your work. Now, what did he do? It's like he got a little logs loaded. Oh, yeah. I got that finished up yesterday. That's good. Well, do you want to take this to town? Me and him go ahead and get the logs started up for today. Or actually, where's Yosha? Right, right there. You. There you are. Do you want to go into town with him and go buy a new tractor? Ooh. I can go buy a new tractor. I'll let you go buy a tractor. With there being three of us, I think three tractors may, uh, you know I mean, two tractors right now. Eventually a third one may not be the worst case scenario. Um, also buy a cedar. All right. 
Um, alongside that, go ahead and prepay for a mower. Uh, you sure we got enough money for that? You sure with these logs. Oh, with those logs? Okay, well, maybe with those logs. Make it work. All right, I'm going to keep on. I'm going to start working. Just kind of keep everything organized. I'm just going to drop this actually right here out of the way. I'm going to let them boys go ahead and go out there to town to pick up that because we kind of went ahead and did a lot of work. And this is what I kind of mean here. As you see, we went ahead and beaten down the path a little bit, got rid of them bushes. Kind of made it look a lot more eye pleasing. I I like it actually a lot around here because now we have six separate fields that we'll be planting today alongside of getting wood knocked out because what I want to do is go behind that tree line eventually behind these fields knock out another path then put more fields then another path then more fields all lead into this wood area because we own all these woods so we just need to keep knocking slowly but surely all the wood out like I'm just saying the truth we have done nothing but we get all this wood gone just gotta slowly but surely knock these stumps out I know you your show and patty hopefully it won't take too long unless they got a little bit of money for those i want to today go ahead and start looking into the greenhouses that are available and we'll see what's all kind of readily available by the way ladies and gentlemen if y'all haven't yet please go check out mr patty and everybody all links are down in the description below for everybody i do work with and there we go that should be about all the stumps or most all of them check it out man oh he went green let me turn this off for a second uh, i was thinking about you when i bought it i appreciate it well let this be your primary tractor and i'll take the red one why why do you want the red one because i don't like green but it was a good deal i bought it for you uh-huh well once you get this rig out there in the field uh you got seed art yeah you got some seed in it what are we planting i don't know i was gonna ask you well let's take a look at uh what's available to plant according to this right here i think we just go classic with canola it's canola yeah canola that's high sells for one thousand three hundred and twelve dollars so i just say we put canola in the entire all fields all right canola it is then while he does that we need to start loading logs loading logs and yeah, while you were gone as you see i went and got me a nice little stockpile this is a good pile here yeah I think that's a good load right there, bud. Yeah, it looks pretty heavy. Yeah, I may have cut these logs a little too long. That's okay. Do you want me to take them or you want to take them? Uh, you go ahead. I feel like I've taken enough trips there. Just go ahead and start cutting out some more, I guess. Okay. Let's keep that stockpile going, and if you keep that going, I'll keep this going over here. All right, sounds good. Now, this right here is nothing but a bunch of big thick beautiful logs in my opinion yo show you on the radio yeah what's up we just got eight thousand dollars off of one trip nice that right there is perfect um we do need to eventually talk about possibly getting some tree planters because i don't know how long we can sustain this tree decapitation like this without at least plant more yeah you are uh kind of cutting down a lot over there yep can confirm we have cut down a lot yeah, we've cut down a lot more than we should be without thinking about planting more and i've looked down online we would have to kind of buy brand new and those was brand new or $27,000 not including the tractor we would need to pull it it would be a little bit of a price it's not even including the nursery like how much the nursery is going to charge us I don't even want to know what the nursery would charge us for all the trees we would need but those trees we could hand select to make sure they're bigger stronger better trees than what we currently have here I don't know just something to keep your minds on boys all right somebody want to take over for me uh you know what yeah I'll go ahead and hop on over there hey yo show yeah how long do we think about getting another tractor so we have all three of us tractor because i've heard from the grapevine that the weather around here pretty much don't change so we can plant year round so if that's true it may not be the worst idea for us to get a tractor per implement so that we can really start using all 150 acres it would be nice i don't know how long do you think we need i, I do think if we're gonna buy another tractor it needs to be a bigger tractor like a new holland i was gonna say i like the color blue hey yo sure do you want to take care of the trees for a little bit and let me go look at some stuff sure i got it all right you go ahead and start taking care of this i'm gonna go to the yard and see if i can look and see if i can figure something out all righty so this is what i'm currently thinking we come over here and start knocking out some of these trees real fast because what i'm thinking about doing is knocking in some greenhouses and just going off of that because let's get the sky drone up real fast let me step back here out of the way so the sky drone pretty much can just tell me what we can all put down what all it's worth i think we put some of these down but we build them we kind of like put them on down here put them all in like rows and stuff like that going alongside of here alongside that we need a container for water which i think this right here will be able to provide us with fresh water oh no i'm actually going to start working on this and see y'all here in a second so i went ahead and paid for the the nails i thought i'd pay for some good soil and put in these now we need to go get a trailer yo show uh hey, you uh in town or are you about to go to town i'm about to here in a little bit loading up the last little bit of logs okay when you go out to town can you bring me back a water tank yes okay thank you hey patty are you on your own oh let's say you're on the last field oh 
Oh, just about. Oh, yeah. I got I got one more field over there that you're walking towards. Yeah. Yeah. This one's the last one you have left to do. And then you should be good to go. Yeah. How are you guys doing? What's going on? I don't have my radio on me. That thing's kind of loud. Uh, doing good. Doing good. He's trucking a load right now. I just got some raised beds finished made. Oh, raised beds? Cool. There's your water trailer. You want to call it for the day with logging for the day and you maybe create your own field? Sure. All right. We'll let you do that. I'll take this over and we'll start loading these things up with water. Oh, these look real good. Thank you, man. You done? Yep, all done. Okay. Well, there ain't really a whole lot to do other than I'm getting the last little bit of water done. Do you want to go through that? Make sure she's fully ready for the next planting cycle? Yep, I'll give this thing a look over. I'd appreciate it. Actually looking pretty good, boys. Everything's planted now, perfectly ready to go. And I think we got some tomatoes, all kind of stuff growing now. So ain't really a whole lot. What you working on over here? I was cleaning off some of these discs, and I got distracted. There's some deer creeping up on me, so I was just looking at them. Oh, hey, that's dinner. That's why I was being real quiet. Oh, I guess. There ain't really a whole lot to do left for today. I think we did about every job we could really do. Yep. I think we let Yosho keep on going with that. I mean, we filled up these. I mean, you can take a look at this all. I mean, we Oh, did... man, this looks good. Exactly. This is beautiful in my opinion. T I tell you what I want to do. This is what the plan is, hopefully for the future. Is I want to set it. I want. I'm gonna come back through and we'll beat this. I'm gonna beat down like a path going through here. I want to set up like a little production area over there where we start making stuff over here. This side over here will be the fully agriculture side. So all the wood and logs and stuff like that we need. All the plant like if we need crops and stuff like that go over here. Like anything that's like productions technically like with greenhouses and stuff like that. We'll go over here. That sounds great. And then we'll. we'll leave Yosho his one little field right there. Nice. Let's go see how he's doing. It's a pretty big field, actually. I want to plant some wheat. No. You're going to make a bakery. No, we're not. All right, I'm going to let you sit here and watch Yosho. I'm going to go see if there's some cable TV on in the house. And if there's not, I'm going to go find me some antlers and wrap some tinfoil on it. <laughs> These boys better be ready to go. I know I'm tired. Done how to drive this thing to the store. Why Did are you they hear looking? that complaining over there? Uh, uh, oh, oh, what? Oh, what did you say? What? What were you doing? Nothing. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it at that. What you got there, yep. Nate? I went and picked up the mower that you decided you didn't want to bring home yesterday. Oh, well, Ooh. you know, I can only, like, connect to one implement at a time. And then when I got back, you put me to work on plowing the field. So I wasn't able to go back and go pick it back up. Yeah, okay. So we, we need some more equipment today. Okay. Spending more money. That's what I hear too, but you know, I'm just not going to address it. Fine, then I'll send both y'all out there with rakes and make y'all rake air all the grass into one big pile. Nah, I like I like using tractors. These things are pretty cool. They seem to be pretty good for farming. I'm curious to see how much money, how much of my money you're going to spend. Yeah, so we got to buy a silage pit. I put like some tires in the ground. On top of that, we need a silage wagon. You're going to send me to go uh, spend the money? I was electing to send him to send, spend the money this time. I'll go spend some money. I was going to call the guy about the tires and stuff like that to get him to put that in the ground. I was going to send him to go to the store clerk and buy a forge wagon. Is that going to hook up to the truck or do I need to take a tractor? You'll need to take a tractor. No. You need to get some trees ready to go because I also found a guy who's selling an old beat up Chevy truck down to the last bones, but it's worth still about seven grand. All right, fine. Come on. There you go. This right All there. Right. I'll go cut down some logs. All righty. So, what's been kind of the general plan? We have uh, filled up all these with water. So, these right here are at least really good to go. On top of those working their tails off, we need to put this right here in the work. Out here on the farm, we have like certain areas we're designating to certain things over time because we do plan on doing a lot more stuff. Like back there behind those orchards, we plan on putting some coffee beans stuff. I want to put up place for coarse grass work because eventually i want to do some cattle like cattle are my main objective to start doing because i know cattle are really worth it so i'm gonna actually find a place i think like right here would be a good place to put a good old grass pasture we have been going through slowly but surely and removing the bushes from our land but it's, it's just only gonna be up to a true test of time before we can do anything with it but for a little bit ladies and gentlemen i'm gonna let y'all sit back relax and watch me most some grass.
Hey, Nate, you on the radio there? Yes, I am. Uh, you want me to start coming around with the forge wagon just kind of behind you? Uh, well, I would say let this dry out for a little bit. I don't even have okay. the silage pit yet because I got to call that guy still. I've tried calling him a couple times and he's went to straighten the voicemail. Can you just go help Yosho for a little bit? For sure. Also, don't tell Yosho, but you know how Yosho was mentioning the firewood idea? Mm, yeah. I found somebody online that has a firewood production kit for, I think he only said $1,000. I think it's a pretty good deal. What do you think? I think it's a pretty good deal, but you know Yosho is going to say I told you so. Well, I would rather deal with I told you so and be rich off of it that could be his little personal production to watch over oh that's true you go enjoy working with yosho and we'll try to knock out the rest of this field i'm gonna try to call the other guy real fast sounds good hello hey you still got that silage pit for sale oh uh, yes sir i sure do how much are you still want for uh, put those tires in the ground i thought it was like four thousand right yes yeah, so that should that should be more than right all righty sounds good to me you also told me you have a truck for sale i do it's off in the woods i haven't used it in probably 10 15 years all righty do you mind if i come take a look at it within the next few hours or so come on over anytime Let, let's get a little bit of money up we'll come visit you you mind going ahead and putting in that silage pit for me and i'll pay you when you get it in Sounds Sounds good. I will. All right. Sounds good, bud. All righty. And we're pulling up here. Looks like you got the bunker already put down, all the tarp next to it. Oh, looking fancy. Thank you, sir. You see, I put down all these used tires. It works good for this stuff. Took a little while, but I figured it'd be perfect for you. Oh, yeah. And I've already paid you for it, which is the good part. Yes, that's already done. I appreciate you doing all that work for us. I mean, you have no clue how much this means. But I do know you have a truck for me over there. I'm going to go grab my brothers, and hopefully I'll meet you over there at your place in a little bit. Sounds good to me. I'll be there. All right. See you in a little bit, bud. Pardon me, sir. Do you have any gray poupon? No, but do you have a pecan pie? Yes, I have pecan pie. All right, I'm going back to work. Ashley, hold up. Oh, oh, oh. I'll drive down there. Go ahead. We need to talk to the other brother as well. well looks like he's over here oh, chopping geez, nuts and logs. Flying in. What's going on here? Hey, whoa, whoa. Watch where we go. Watch where we going. Uh, I'm trying to part so we don't have to carry these things that far. Whew. Okay. What's up, guys? How's it going? All right. So I just got the silage pit bought. So now we uh, have the silage pit. Taller than okay. both of you. On top of the solid You're bit. standing on a log. That doesn't count. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> what was that? Sorry, sorry, bro. What's that? Hold up. Hold up. All right. So now <laughs> I'm trying to know you. <laughs> All right. That works. Yeah, I'm done with you guys. <laughs> Whatever. I almost got decapitated. Now you're trying to make me feel small. We can't hope that you're the shortest one out of us. All right. So we need to take the truck over there. We need to go to that one new farmer's place. He told me that his truck, he actually brought down the price from seven grand down to five grand. Well, why do you do that? I don't know. I'm going to drop the trailer here. Let's go, boys. Oh, we're, we're, we're going with you? Yeah. All right. There we go. Now, where is he at? I swore I saw him when I pulled up. Hey, there you are, buddy. Oh, hey, man. How's it going? Doing good. We came to check out that truck. Oh, well, follow me. I'll take you right over to it. Oh, my goodness. Well, like I told you, brother, it's been about 10, 15 years since we've done anything with it. Nate? Yeah? What are you thinking? I'm going to stand like right on this side of the machine. Look, it only has 250,000 miles on it. The, the mileage I'm not worried about. Will the thing even run? Look, it has a 350 small block. We did all the work to it before we parked it. How long has it been parked? Parked here? it? You hit a tree. It's been about 10, 15 years, and don't worry about that. That's a big worry. Let's good on this. Uh, here's the key. Let's, let's hit it. Nope dead here go get the truck okay okay i'll be right back i guess i gotta walk all right let me get these batteries hooked all right, there we go right there and right there all right i'm standing back here i'm not gonna electrocute it there you go all right she's running you ready yep come on come on there we go I mean, she's running. She sounds like she's missing a couple of, uh, you know, like a leg or something there. And she's trying to hobble along. Yeah, she sounds like she's running for her life. I mean, she's a fixer-upper. It's a lot more of a fixer-upper than I thought she was going to be. All right. Let's get down and negotiate the price. What you offering? Two grand. That's way too low, bud. How about we do 45? I'm going to get in the truck. <laughs> uh, You know what? Come on. You know you want it. You know you need it. Nate. Don't you do it. Come on. Don't you know you want it. He doesn't want to hear what you're about to say. I, I, no. I'm on. Yo, go, go sit in the truck. You, you go sit in the truck. I am not going to let ride. you spend $4,500 on this piece of junk. Did you just call my truck a pink piece of junk? Yes, I did. It's a piece of junk. I mean, sir, to be fair, you, saw you him say it up and you parked it. It was sitting on I did park it. Okay, before my brother kills me. You chop the next load of trees to pay for it. I'm thinking the next three loads. You know what? That's a good idea. I like this. I, I, I like this brother better than that brother. Here's a check. Oh, uh, dig him. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. I don't know if I can breathe right now. Whew, All right, so I'm, I'm going to take this truck, and uh, who wants to ride with me? I'm riding with Enjoy your it. show. Oh, that was perfect. 
We're gonna cut it off right there. Two trucks down. We need one more truck, and then all three of us have a truck. That's Dibs true. No, 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 Yosho, that's yours. The Forge is yours. Honestly, oh. if we keep going in the direction we're going, you can have the next one. He's got a point there, Nate. What do you mean? This is a great truck, okay? This is a wonderful truck. If Nate. you say so. I mean, we fixed this one up. What's stopping us from fixing this one up? I guarantee this is gonna fix up a lot better than that one, the Ford does. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh, oh, speaking about that, I gotta go to town to pick up something. Okay, that was very, hey, very hey. vague. All right, uh, I got y'all's to-do list while I'm gone. You always do. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. All right, so can one of y'all run and put all the clippings into one in that pile for the silage pit and the other person plant, please? What are we planting? Yeah. Uh, beans. All right, I'll be back later. All right, have a good day. We'll see you later, probably. So right now, we are heading back over to the farm. I just picked up our very own uh, system. We are going to finally start making some firewood. And Yosho is going to be so excited for it. I can't wait. We really need to wash this thing off. I do plan on buying like a little way to wash this thing off here pretty soon. But it also cost us $2,000. So that was a little bit more of a price tag than I thought it was going to be. Even though it came with that price tag, I'm fine with it. Because it still allows us to make firewood for us. Ta-da! Did you actually listen to something that I told you? Yeah. You have your very own way to make firewood. Told you so. Yeah, I know. But here's the one condition for it. It's all yours. Oh, then yeah, I'm, I'm going to pocket all the money too. No, no, no. The money goes towards farm. The way we're going to work is everybody's going to have their own like little thing, production type thing they're all going to run. This is going to be yours. You're going to be the firewood guy. Oh, great. What? Aren't you excited? Well, yeah. I mean, it's it's great, but I was seeing the pile over here and I was like, well, hey, look, we already have this and everything, but you know, this will work. I'll, I'll make it work. Because uh, I'm going to hit up every grocery store and put like five pieces in a bag and sell it for 10 bucks. Go for it. Do you want to go with me and let's go get some firewood for it? I mean, I can, but I was going to pick up the grass. Eh, it can dry for a little bit longer. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Hey, Nate. Hey, Yosho. You guys on the, on the radio over there? Yeah. What's going on? Hey, the guy we bought the truck from, he's over at the farm asking for, for a job. Really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we probably use him, right? Yeah. He'd be perfect to have around here. Uh, how much does he want an hour? Uh, let me ask him. Hey, Matt. Or a day. Oh, okay. That's probably better. How much you want a day? If I can make 130 a day, I'll be happy. He said $115. 130 <laughs> I know. <laughs> he said $130. <laughs> hey, Nate. He sounds pretty desperate. I bet you we can get him down below $115. He, he can hear you guys. Tell him we'll give him $100 even a day. You know what? I'll take that as long as there's room for a raise in the future. Heck yeah. All right, you got a deal. Hey, while I have you guys on the radio, is there anything he could be he could get started on right now? Yeah, tell him to meet us over at the uh, main house. We need help with the new wood production. Hey, you know what you're good for right now? What's that? Grab yourself a chainsaw, get on top of this, start cutting these down. We need to start loading them into here because we need to make firewood out of them. All right, I'll get right to it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hello. Did it produce a full pallet already? Man, that was fast. Yo, show we have pallets for us, right? Yes, yes, we do. So we may need a little bit of a uh, trailer. Is that hmm. fit? Oh, it'll fit. Yeah, it Perfect. fits fine. All right, so let's go ahead and put strap on. So do we want to go ahead and sell this? Yeah, let me go see if I can take it up town and see what I can get for it. Oh, uh, okay. All right, I'll be back. If you can, please pick up a trailer so we can haul them away from that one with a better trailer. Thank you. All right, buddy. Yes, sir. I'm going to leave this with you. Don't wreck it. Go ahead and keep putting wood in there. Let's just keep this cycle going. Don't worry, I'm full cliff certified oh god that scares me even more all right and now that he's working on that i'm gonna take this over there and at least go ahead and start compassing that one for my brother i mean it's a miracle the how much work we're all doing out here hopefully these over here start producing pretty soon we need to really start up in production because the more money we make we can get in the cattle a little bit sooner we're already on our way to almost being able to produce our own stuff for our cattle hey i'm gonna try to keep this over here compacted so like when you run over it i'm gonna try to keep everything inside of it and keep it pretty much compacted down. Okay, I'll try to do my best on keeping it in there too. Alright, thank you buddy. Oh, looking nice, Yosho. Yeah, what you think? What you think? I think that's a lot of room for a lot of different pallets. You gonna go sell the rest of those pallets today? Yeah, I can go ahead and take care of that. Keep going, keep going. On. Whoa. Oh. Back it up. Kept it, in, kept it in gear. Right there. there. Oh. Alright, here we go. Hey, Yosho. Yeah, hey, yeah, what's up? You want to go help that other guy and see if he wants help because we really need to start selling some wood. Uh, where's he at? He's over the logging area. Oh, okay, yeah. I'll, I'll go see if I can find him. Yeah, help him. Hey, if you could help him load up all that wood, get all that wood sold, you might need to do me a favor and go buy a tractor and buy another silage thing because if we can double our speed on silage, that'd be a lot. That'd be awesome. All right, let's see what we can do. All right, thank you, buddy. You're welcome. Hey, Patty. Yeah, what's up? When you come back in, we need to focus more on that back area than we do 
through that front. Uh, which way is the front? Which way is the back? Front's pointing towards you. Back is not facing towards you. Okay. We're doing pretty good out here, buddy. Oh, yeah. Chugging along. You want to switch or anything? Uh, yeah, we can switch if you want to. I mean, I'm almost done, so there's really not too much left for you to do. Well, how about you finish that field and I'll start the other field? That ah, works for me. Hey, Patty. Uh, yeah, what's up? Guess what? Did you run out of diesel? There's none in it. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I was kind of glad we switched over when we did. All right, I guess I'll sit here, scroll through TikTok. Pretty good at that by now. Thank you for the diesel. You're welcome. The, look at that. That was pretty good. I, I think I did pretty good. About right around 8,000 for the uh, windrow and the tractor. All right, good. Now do me a favor. Windrow in front of you? Yes. Okay. All right, gentlemen, I think we need to get Yeehaw! Oh, oh. Oh, good morning. Hey, Ooh, hey, morning, Nate. How's it going, man? Doing good. Goodness. My goodness. I know, right? Do you think you got enough lumber? Hey, I'm telling you, man, we're about to be rich. Well, since you've been busy, do we need to send uh, one of those other guys to get some more lumber for you? I mean, if you want to uh, get some more firewood done, but I don't know. I don't know if we'll be able to sell it today because today's like peak value right now. It wouldn't be a bad idea to over some time to go ahead and get some more lumber. And we'll get rid of this dirt off of here. It's going to take me a little bit, but I'm going to use the air compressor. Using the air compressor to clean a truck? I think you need water for that, man. Look at what kind of job it's doing. It's doing it. Look, that uh, truck not is not gonna get rid of them scratches though. Nah, nothing's gonna get rid of them scratches except a new coat of paint. You should have kept it dirty, Nate. How did you manage this? What are you complaining about? You got a good truck here. You know, oh, I up. would rather not talk. Oh about wait, it. look, there's some rust right there. Oh wait. I'd get out of the way for I hate you. Are we also selling these other pallets? Yeah, we can. I mean, we're taking the trips to town. We might as well just load them onto the trailer, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of these because I think these are a good price to sell them as well. Hey, Lumberjack. Yes, sir. Go have fun being a Lumberjack. You got it, boss. You want me to go, go uh, take the truck with him with the log trailer? I can hook to the trailer and pull it if you Hey. Yeah, I was about to say, you let him take that, actually. Me and you need to go down. I was about to say, leave that truck for Yosho. You come with me and my truck. And we need to go take a good old look at the silage pits. Oh, okay. Okay, so they still need one more month to go ahead and get that. We want to cultivate the ground and plant down grass so that we can fertilize it and put out some real fertilizers. Yeah, might be worth it in the yield. Let's get that looked at doing that. You want me to hop into the tractor and start that up? Not this second. Let's go see if Yosho needs help because I know what he has should bring us a little bit of money. And I really don't want to start no projects until we find out how much all this is going to be worth. Oh, heck yeah. That firewood's got to be worth a lot right now. I'm sure nobody wants to be cutting their own firewood. Exactly. Now, as you load them, we'll strap them. We may not be able to fit all this on one trailer. Oh, there's no way we're going to fit all this on one trailer. I like the sound of that. Cha-ching. All right, Yosha. Wow. What, we fit it all on one? Yeah, looks as safe as it could possibly be. Yeah, I, I can see that. Come on, back it up, back it up, back it up. There you Got go. It. All right, go have fun. Good luck. Yep. Go make me some money. All right, you take my truck, and I'm going to take this kid's steer down to him so we can get more firewood going. All right, am I following you in your truck? Yeah. Hey, back my truck up over here, the barn, okay? You going to throw something in the back? Yep, I got to throw something in the back. Hey, hey, Nate, you on the radio? Yeah, what's going on? Where's everybody at? I'm back at the farm. We're doing some logging. Uh -huh. You seen the bank account then, didn't you? I mean, we saw what you made, $40,000. I mean, we need more of that. Uh-huh. Yeah, told you so. Don't worry, I've already been talking to, to, to a guy about cattle, and it's only going to cost us roughly about thirty to thirty-five thousand dollars to get into it. Sounds like a plan to me. All right, we got this trailer full over here. Let me pull this out of the back of the truck over here. All right, I'll go through and do these right here. All right, well, you want me to ride to town with you, or are we, are we going to town? Or are we taking this over to our? We're going to take it straight to the uh, house. Okay, cool. Unless wood is at like a really good price, and I uh, I don't see the point right now. Yep, I think firewood's the way to go. I think what we need to do, we need to do a system where like we store a lot of the wood we have because honestly truly we don't got a lot more wood left but it wouldn't be the worst idea to start saving up some money for a tree planter um did you want me to get to work on uh tilling up that field that we discussed earlier yeah okay so yeah sure just so you know he's gonna go ahead and till those fields that we cut the other day because what we're gonna do we're gonna plant grass back down so that we can fertilize the grass right sounds good do you just want to call it always. in and i'll go pick it up i was gonna go it's been a little bit since i've been to the store oh Okay. I just called one of my friends. He told me it'd be twenty-five thousand dollars for the cattle pen. All we need to do is buy the feed mixer and some other things. Man, oh man, it's nice to see you again. And what happened to your truck? I bought it like this. Okay. Well, you know, I I, I know a guy that can uh nope, you nope, know nope. do some do some body work and repaint this for you, and he'll he'll take care of it for you. Matter of fact, hang on a second. Let me let me go get him real quick. If he comes out here wearing a different hat, I'm gonna kill him. Well, hello. I hear that you got some body work that needs to be done.
Oh, oh, hang on. Let me go get the sales cart back. Ooh, I kind of like this stretcher. What, what, you talking about the Ford here? Yeah. Yeah, she's a classic. Let me tell you, she purrs like a kitten, too. How much she worth? Um, Actually, I can let this one go for um, $4,000. we will come back to this. So what do you need? So I need a trailer I can put tractors and other implements on. All right, so just, uh, I mean, what, what kind of hookup do you have over here? I got a trailer, but it's a gooseneck uh, ball hitch. Oh, hey, look, you got one. Yeah. Got the gooseneck and another. Awesome. Well, uh, then, uh, yeah, you should be good to go then. All right. The good old friends over at Lizard uh, hooked us up with this one, and uh, we're selling it for around $8,000. Okay. Nice little dovetail. That's actually a really good trailer. You know what? I'm not going to haggle on this one. Sold. Now, let's talk about this over here. What did you do to this thing? Well, you know, it's it's kind of a modification. The dirt and the uh, chip paints is a modification. Well, no. This is uh, heavily used. Somebody traded it in for a larger one uh, because they're uh This they're is a fuel trailer, from. right? Yeah, it's a fuel trailer. I was I was getting there. I can basically part with this thing for about uh, 800 bucks. That's the deal. All right. So next thing on the list, need a sprayer. Do you need to spread lime? Not yet. That could wait a while. Well, what I'm getting at is you got this thing right here and it'll actually spread lime as well well this over here you're gonna have to get another implement later i'm trying to save you some money but hey no i'll part with that thing for 500 bucks sold what's this trailer for this here is actually a, a small cattle trailer you can hold a couple of cattle in it are you actually looking into getting in the cattle yeah well then if that's the case then i need to hook you up with a mixer and uh we got some other stuff that i can hook you up with as well this first how much is this this trailer right here is gonna run you about uh four thousand three thousand three thousand i'm already cutting you a deal on some of this other stuff stuff over here no 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 i didn't negotiate none of that stuff so three thousand dollars how about i meet you halfway 35 32 and a firm handshake firm handshake doesn't mean nothing to me your money is what means something to me so 35 that's my hard hard bargain right there come on 32 all right, well, let's see. Over here, we got some other stuff, too, that you know, right. I can show you. I won't buy that tractor, then. Oh, well, I mean, that's your choice. All right, so, um, yeah, uh, we, we can do this one for uh, three and a half. You know, I won't, I won't complain with this one. Now, about that trailer over there. Don't you dare pull that trailer into this. All right, fine. Tell you what, I'll do you a deal on the tractor over there. We go 35 a piece on these. I'll I'll go I'll go good on the tractor over here. You ready? This this one that you were eyeballing this Ford, I'll let you have it for three thousand. Deal. How much money do I owe you? So we had a grand total of twenty three thousand three hundred. All right, let me let me sign the check. Lord, them boys are not about to be happy at all with how much money I just spent. But I think it's an important investment that I put in. What in the world did you do, Nate? You bought a whole farm. No, I did not. I bought everything we need for cattle now this is the solution to all of our problems right here and all of our diesel problems you say that every time you spend money no 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 no, no. this is a diesel trailer it all looks right. rough i hear you and by the way we own that new trailer we own this we goose back, dude. what this is you we had to have a trailer we could transport equipment okay you're right you're right you're right we uh we might need another shed possibly yeah we got a lot of yeah, stuff. Yeah, I think so now. too. By the way, this is what's really gonna make y'all dislike me. We need to make some more money. Oh, yeah. We you just spend all our money. Well, okay, listen. We we just gotta make another two, three thousand dollars. That's not bad. No, seven thousand dollars. All right, y'all boys might need to get back to work on trees. I'm gonna go sell this stuff. And so let's go ahead and pull over this right here. This little storage container said that they'll take all this stuff. I don't know how much we should get, but we should get a little bit of money off of it. Okay, so that's all thousand dollars. That's just made back our investment on that stuff already. Now that we've made that money there, we can take everything now and hopefully go ahead and get those cattle sheds built, buy some baby calves. Alrighty, so I'm going to actually go ahead and get some work done, and I'm going to jump up on in here and get our new cattle pen built right here. Three, two, one, let's go go and we are back we have our very first cattle pen we can kind of go into here we have a little trough here we can fill up i do want to give a huge shout out to the mod maker of this pleasant view farms he does an amazing amazing job with this cattle barn this is personally one of my favorite ones i've ever seen like i love it this looks amazing but let's go see what the boys think about this all righty boys what do y'all think oh this is actually looks pretty nice not bad for twenty five thousand. yeah so now we gotta do is get the cattle actually out of here i mean some cattle in here which yosho do you want to go to the dealer and go buy some cattle yeah i guess i can do that 
All right, you go do that. I guess we'll go back to doing our other, other chores. I'll come with you and help you with wood. Sounds good. Hop in the truck. Look, now we can just load them up onto this as well as that. I think that'll work tremendously. I don't have to cut them to fit the trailer no more. Oh, no, we'll still fill that one up. No, all right. I was going to want to talk to you about getting a longer trailer, but the gooseneck will work just fine. You know, I actually got a really good deal on these cattle. How much? Well, uh, I mean, we only got 800 bucks left, but uh, I think you're going to like what I got, though. Okay, let's go take a look, then. All right, we got us 19 Angus calves. Oh. All right. Good job, Yosha. And here's the cool thing. Got them for only $100 a head. That's really good, actually. I don't know about you, but I'm tired. We've been working all day long. Yeah, I agree. I think it's uh, it's been a long day. I think it's time to hit the hay. Tell the boys it's time to come in. Hey, boys, y'all on the radio? Yep. Yes, sir. Once y'all head it on, pack it on up, head it on in. I think we're done for the day. On my way. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Again? Yeah, I've been busy, man. You know, okay, all right. Hey, Nate, Nate, Nate. What? I, I know I know we've invested in cows, and I know that we've invested in some more equipment all around us here. Yeah. What are you? Get off, get off the wood. I am the ruler of this palace. You shall fear me. I mean, we Whatever. don't have any I'm insurance, man. You might want to get down. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, anyway, so so what I'm saying is, since this is kind of the backbone of our our money, our income here, um, that we can invest into making this a little bit better, so that way we can uh, make a little more money. What, what do you mean a little bit better? Maybe a building to store this stuff in, so that way it isn't taking up our lot here and making it hard to load up. Now you want a building? Yeah. Wait, now you want to spend our money? I mean, he gets to spend it. I'm the oldest brother. Come on. When do I get to spend some? You get to spend money when when you come up with a business idea that's going to make us money. Well, you guys have just been sticking me on odd jobs like cultivating. I have no time to think. Oh, boy. What are we going to do with him? Send him back to work. Hey, why don't you go finish that field? Oh, wait. Never mind. The finish fields are corner. finished. I don't know what to tell you then. Lumberjacking? Yeah, you can take over lumberjacking. Wait, how did this just turn into give me a job? What? Hey, give me your plaid. Here, here you go. I'm not putting this on yet, but if I get cold, I guess I'll wear it. Hey, Yosha, how long is it going to take you to sell this wood? Uh, it shouldn't take me too long. Maybe an hour to get it loaded and get down to town. Okay, let, let's get all this loaded. I'm going to call one of my buddies, and you know what? I think I have a better idea than another skid steer for you. Let's go get you an old rinky-dink port lift. As long as it'll pick up this these pallets. All right, I'll be, be back. Be careful now. Yeah, and he got even more trees this time than he did last time. Sure does. All right, I'm going to let you kind of look at make sure, look that over and make sure it's ready to go. We got to plant some grass down, and I'm going to call the store clerk see if i can find any trailers that we can get because we need to possibly move that silage either today or later this week sounds good i'll make sure she's a tip-top shape all right you do that i think she's ready to go well we gotta leave this here to yosha gets back with the seed um you want to jump in the truck with me and let's go look at the silage see if she's ready to go today sounds good that's some silage right there sure is and oh she's ready to go too so 91 thousand liters over here and a hundred and twelve thousand liters here be enough to make some good money off of it that's plenty of money right there um um, I'm going to go rent a trailer from town, and you go get the wheel, uh, skid steer and bring it down here. All righty. All right, it looks like Yosha's getting his stuff, and I already paid the store clerk. If there's like $1,800 for this thing. We have it, of course, every day we use it. It's another eight, $1,800, I think. So we got to take this on back over there. So now we got to start moving that silage as quick as possible. All right, I'm going to let you start filling this thing up. Let me know once you get it full, because I see my ride coming. All right, thank you. You're welcome. All right, I guess we'll use this right here to our benefit. Hey, Yosha, do I need to call that one guy? to start figuring out the plans for your new building uh yeah that'd be great all right i'll give him a call eventually oh well hey buddy yeah man what's going on i'm gonna steal this truck real fast go ahead i won't need it for a little while good because you don't want to know what i just did you run out of fuel baby uh-huh i can't lie though kind of ran out of fuel at the perfect time i just got done with this field there we go might as well leave it over. All right, no, we just need to leave it all, all the way over here. Lord knows we're going to need it soon. Now, I do got a question. Do we want to cut like part of this field down here and turn it into a wheat field for a little bit? Yeah, I think that's actually pretty good because, I mean, both those fields of grass produced a lot of silage. Hey, do me a favor. Can you call that store clerk find out how much that uh, other skid steer with all the attack with like a bucket attachment and a power fork attachment would be? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll give him a call here in just a second. All righty. Uh, I'm going to get down here. I'm getting out of your way. I'm getting out of your way. Come on now. You ain't supposed to be in my way. Go on somewhere. I am. I'm going to go refill the seed. I, I ran out already. Took you long enough. I don't want to hear that from you. Hey, yo, show you on the radio? Yeah, what's up? When do you plan on going back to town? Uh, as soon as I get some uh, feed in here for these uh, cows. All right. Uh, can you do me a favor when you go? Yeah, what you need? I need seed. Didn't we already have like two bags of it? Ran through it all. Wow. Okay. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, I just got done doing a little bit of this. I'm going to let somebody else take this over for a little bit. We have to go ahead, head over here with the contractors, and start building the new wood facility. This is going to be our very first fully production. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait to see it. All right, boys. The new facility's ready. New facility? The new wood facility for your show. Oh, uh, yeah, that. You were working oh, on Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Everybody come look. Uh, oh, boy. This is nice. Plenty of room right here to store all the wood we need to store. Now, this is going to be your new friend. You put it here, the laws push over here, and you stand right here and hit buttons. Oh, this is going to be nice. Look, you can have individual bays, technically, if you want to set it up like that. And you know what the best part is? What? Apparently, you're supposed to be able to produce 10 times the amount of wood here than you were over there with that little system. Well, duh, because over there I was using a, basically a hand axe. I mean, this here is like an entire log just split and done. So, Yosho. Yeah, what's up? Do you, do you want to host this cost me? Uh, I'm afraid to ask, but... I'm going to stand right here behind him. 50 grand. I'm, I'm, just the wood cutter. Not the barn? Not including the barn. You got to be kidding me. How much was it with the barn? 75. You know what? I'm going to make you more money with this thing. So, you know what? I don't care. I'm about to say, yeah, you dude. specifically asked for this, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yes, I did. I think we need to plant some trees out here. I mean, look at all this land right here, especially if this thing is cranking out all this firewood like this. It's time to plant a field of trees. You know what your tree planter costs? You just spent fifty thousand dollars on this. How much more could a tree planter cost? One of you, one thousand. Give me a day. <laughs> Give you a day. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a day. That's that's Yosho's definition of hold my beer. <laughs> hold my beer. <laughs> Oh, my beer, watch this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. today. So we'll anyway. give you a day. We'll, we'll give you a day for this. So do you want to go ahead and sell the wood that you produced today from that other one? And, of course, these two right here? Yeah, let's let's go and get that sold. All right. Me and you can move that lumber from over there to over here and, I guess, get a lot more. Sounds good. Hey, Yosho, don't forget to pick up those seeds for me. Already did. They're at the barn. Oh, okay. I'll go pick those up in a little bit because I am running low. I'm at like 25% on the ground. I'm only running 25%. There you go. Thank you, Yosho. You're welcome. All right, boys. I finally got the fields finished. Good, yeah, good job. I've been working way too long on planting these. And you're going to say it took me long enough come from the person that's still doing silage. Hey, look. There's a lot of silage. You just had to go back and forth. So do you. You go back and forth with a bucket. I and then back hey, hey, hey. Down. you're not in this conversation. Oh, oh, sorry. Y'all sure wasn't wrong, though. Are you sure you want that tree planter? Yeah, we, we need one, right? We're burning through trees left and right. I'm going to go in the house. I'm going to go order your tree planter. We'll do a couple, order a couple more things, okay? All right, sounds good. All righty, so of course y'all know we picked this up back here. But right, I think we're going to pick this up as well. This is only $25,000. Got this down here at the bucket. You have this entire arm right here. Good lash down right there. I think this is a perfect setup. It has plenty of horsepower. And it lets us do our job. It's only $25,000. I think we're buying this. And there we go. We just went ahead and written that check. So now we can start this up and be good to go. Yo, show you on the radio? Yeah, what's up, man? I just wanted to and picked up your new toys. Okay, you're bringing them home? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm already here. What is that? That looks expensive. What is this? What is what? We got us a new international. So you said you need something to move your pilots, but okay, fine. I can get away with that. But we also needed more horsepower because you see the size of this machine back here? Yeah, it, it is pretty big. This, this is a tree planter. This is the smallest one they have. Okay, we can live with it. So where's our trees at? See, that's a thousand dollars a pallet. When you can afford them, then you can start planting. Okay. But boys, you know what? What? Give me a day. Ain't that the truth? Whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, put me down. Hold up. Nate, okay, this isn't funny anymore. Hold up. Guess what? But what? This is payback for waking me up early this morning. You told me to. Hey, yo, show there's pizza inside if you come in with me. Save yeah, me let's, a, let's, let's eat. Yeah, let's save go me eat. Save me this It is a beautiful day. Uh, yes, it was. Man, I slept great last night. How'd you sleep? Uh, is he passed out up there? Really? Uh, Did you leave him up there all night? Just a little bit. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, my. Oh, geez. Oh, <laughs> good morning, good morning fellas. Oh. <clears throat> Let's see if I can just dump you out of here. Let's see. You, for, you forget oh, me? Oh, oh, he didn't oh. Leg, did he? Oh, no, I'm okay. I kind of tucked and rolled. I'm okay. Nate, why did you leave him up there? Because I thought it was funny. And plus, we don't got but two beds anyway. I'm surprised he ain't got a cold or nothing. He's got a long sleeve shirt. He's okay. I'm good. Yeah, this flannel I got actually kind of kept me warm. Anyway, what we got today? <laughs> well, today I think we got to get started with planting some trees. All right. And planting some trees. Right. And planting some trees. Okay. That's about all I got oh, planted. Hey, hey, do we need to plant some trees? Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't forget about planting trees. Planting trees. Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So we're planting some trees. So what we need to do is we need oh, to Oh, get... I have a question. Question. 
Um, we only have one tree planter. And there's four of us. Well, yeah, um, I'm taking the tractor with the tree planter, and I'm giving y'all a bunch of shovels. Uh, oh, that's how this day's going to go. Um, how about I just go chop some firewood? How's that sound? That works, too. That works, too. Well, actually, we need to sell some firewood today. Well, I mean, got to go chop it first unless I somebody call the axe. ran it all night. I'm not digging holes. Hey, now, don't break that. Don't break that now. This is up for sale right here, okay? Oh, okay, okay. Somebody else is buying this from us because we got the new one. Okay, well, I got to use it while we have it. No, 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 no. Get out. Get out. Shoot. I don't want to dig a hole. You're not digging a hole. We have a whole nother one. Oh, okay. Before we do that, we got to go to town. Two of us got to go to town and go grab some trees to plant. Uh, are you... Saying that's me that's going to have to go with you? I think you're the only one I haven't been with in a while. Let's go to town. All right. Hey, Patty. Uh, yes, sir. How's it going? Go ahead and order about eight boxes of pallets so when we get there, they can just load us up. All right. About eight boxes of pallets. And uh, what else now? That's it. Okay. Let me give him a call. All right. So we ended up picking up 12 pallets instead of eight. I can live with that. Yeah, that sales clerk's kind of weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's park this over here near these old boys. And do you want to go grab the tractor real fast while I talk to them? Yep, sounds good. Hey, boys. Yeah. Well, one of y'all mind on taking one of them pallets down and putting it on this here? Yeah, I'll get it. I mean, you are forklift certified, aren't you? Exactly. That's what he All keeps right. saying. I know. All righty, we got this thing loaded. Awesome. Yosha, where do you want these rows of trees? How long do you want the tree rows? What do you want? Uh, let's see, uh, if you want to line it up with the back of this building right here, and, uh, let's just say, uh, just run north. Uh, how many trees is that? What, 20? Is it a pallet? Yep. All right, yeah, just, uh, go ahead and do a pallet per row. Sounds good. Can someone go ahead and pull the next pallet then? Yeah, I'll yeah, get, we'll it. get you finger. All right, I'm gonna run this, uh, this load of firewood to the store. Sounds good. All right, gentlemen, I'm back. Welcome back. Well, we got about $35,000 for that load. That's good. I'm about five, uh, pallets into your trees. Awesome, looking good. Yeah, time for you to come take it over, buddy. All right, fine. Well, when you come back, I'll I'll take over. What kind of trees did you go with there, Nate? Uh, I went with pine and some other type of tree. All right. Yeah, pine should go pretty quick. All right. I think I've about worked on this thing enough. All right, I'll take over. All right, I'll let you take that over. What you doing? I'm doing the hardest job of all, supervising. Yeah, you come with me. Come on. I hate to say this. Get steer. Yes, sir. Come with me. All righty. You're on your own, Yosho. Hey, boss, I'm here. All right, get to work this again okay i think we're good for right now okay yeah i got All a full load taken into town yeah we got a few of them we really need to discuss on some more business plans because i don't think trees are a good long-term solution oh hey right in time there's your show what's up hey bud hi how's it going uh we're talking about new business adventures and plans you know the more stuff you don't like to I don't mind business and, you know, ventures and stuff. I mean, I'm always up for broadening my horizon. Good. So, uh, boys, what do y'all think we should do for a new business? I've got an idea. I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty creative, and I kind of want to start my own clothing line. <laughs> Plants are us? <laughs> I, yeah, I, I mean, look at this flannel. Really head. Look at this. Made this work real well. I think I have a passion for clothes, guys. What'd you do? Upload a video to YouTube and get, like, one view and let it go to your head? It got, like, 100, okay? Oh, wow. It, it was probably Nate. Yeah, constantly I'm big watching time. It over I'm big over. time, guys. I'm big time. Oh, you're big time. Yeah, so I think I should get a clothing line. We'll call it Average Patty's Threads. I mean, I think we can do a little better on work on the name, but why, why don't you just call it I Average the Threads? Fine. But then my name's not in it. That's the point. Oh. <laughs> Patty's Apparel. I like that one. Apparel. What? <laughs> Patty's Apparel. That one. Yeah. See, this guy's got good ideas. I wouldn't say that because I'd be too tempted to call it Cow Patty's Apparel. I mean, we got cows over there now. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cow Patty's Apparel. There you go. So every shirt that he that he makes, you know, then we'll take it out there to the, the cow pasture and, uh, you know, kind of trample some patties on it. See, look, already stained and ready to go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm not giving you guys oh. any more ideas. Oh, uh, oh, oh, did he hurt oh, his feelings? No. He's taking my truck. I know, right? What's up with <laughs> yeah. him? Hey, come back. No. Um, I'm driving this back. You're walking, Yosho. Bye, Yosho. Sorry. Uh, wait, wait. Guys? Wait. Hey! <laughs> it was all fun with somebody else. So I got a question. What would you need for your clothing brand? What? Wait, 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 wait. You're actually thinking about this? Come on. Why not? It's a good idea. You know idea. how much work it's going to take for us to get that? I mean, what? Okay, so how, how are you going to make the... the the, the clothes, are, are we looking at planting cotton? Because you know the equipment oh, God, for that no. is insane. Okay, so how are you doing it? Are Cheap. We gonna... All right, let me look at my phone, see if I can find a sheep pen. All right, so what we'll do is we need to make money before we can buy your sheep, okay? Okay. So that means we need to put more time into more wood. Figures, we're going to use my business to uh, supplement everybody else's. Uh, who, who's had the good idea of making money to start with? Hmm? All right, hmm? yeah, 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 right. Good, good idea, Yosho. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. 
Um, got a lot of produce. Yeah, but I don't think they're going to be ready to sell anytime soon. Alrighty, so why don't one of y'all take the tractor and start getting these moved into Yosho's shed. Okay. One of us go cut down trees, and one of us go mucking. Oh, I'll cut down trees. Okay. Oh, mucking? Yeah, mucking. Uh, have you not seen these cow patties over here? No, I haven't. <laughs> I've been too busy cutting or chopping up firewood. Oh my goodness, what's happened over here? They, uh, they, they've had the time of their lives. The good part about this is if we throw it to the side for long enough, eventually it'll turn into really good manure so we can throw it on our fields. Yeah, that's that's a good good call. Hey, Yosho. Yeah, what's up, man? May not be too much longer. We might want to look into getting at least another one of these pens after we get these sheep. Sure, why not? I mean, how are those cows going? I mean, I can tell with their poop. They look healthy. Here you go, Yosho. All right, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Let's look at our soybeans. It won't be long. They'll be ready to harvest. Yeah, this actually right here is showing me that this field right here will be the first field to harvest. Oh, perfect. Who drove through the field? What? Someone drove right across my field. It ain't so bad. Nah. Leaving tire tracks all the way through my field like this ain't so bad. Like, I know I ran through the field a little bit, but good lord. It was that shopkeeper. Yeah, I hear you. Tired of all of you people taking my old tractor. I'm going to go start cutting grass because there ain't nothing left to do. Come help me log load some logs. I'd rather cut grass. Good morning. Morning, sir. What you been doing? Just, uh, you know, hanging out, chopping trees. Still cutting down wood? Well, what? yeah, you keep telling me we need to make money. Well, yeah, because we got to get your sheep, hopefully, today. And if I take a guess, we're still probably about 40 grand off from your sheep. But they're going to cost that much? Well, we got to buy a baler. We got to feed them, and they eat grass. Okay, don't lump that into my sheep. That's going to help the cows, too. Well, I mean, he has a point. I mean, okay, all right, all right, all right. So let, hear me out. Hear me out. You ready for this? Go for it. We, we could get a baler, make it two purpose fold here, and actually get one that will wrap. So that way we could wrap the bales, right? And not have to worry about using all the manpower to scoop all the silage up for the cows, but yet it can bypass the wrap and boom, we got grass bales for the sheep. Do we look like we're made out of money? I mean, have you seen how much pile of wood we got over there from the firewood chain? Uh, no, that sounds like it's going to take some money away from the sheep. As cheap as we can go, I think that's where we should go. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm telling you, it'll save time. Yosha, Yosha, Don't worry, Yosha, I agree. Picking that up? It's look, at, look at me, Yosha. Look at me, Yosha. What? what? Why is it always me? How could this happen to me? At the end of the day, it's his job to unload the silage pit and reload it, okay? So it's not like it should matter to us. What about, what about yeah, time? you're trying to take a job away from a hard-working man. All right, boys. I think it's time we get everything packed up and start getting out for the, rolling out for the day. I guess I'm going to be selling firewood again. I shall sell the firewood. All right. Do you want to go to town and buy a baler and a tether? Ooh, I get to buy a baler. Okay, all right, I'll be back. If you come back with a small one, we're going to have problems. Hey, boys, can one of y'all get the truck hooked up to the trailer? You want your truck or my truck? Uh, my truck. Or, you know what? Get yours. All right. Now, I got to give it to these boys. These boys have been putting in some work over here, making a bunch of firewood, and there's still a lot more firewood still to be made. I mean, them boys have been cutting down them trees and hopefully pretty soon we can start putting another production over there because I wouldn't mind putting like the wool production and like all the wool stuff on that side and having my stuff in the middle. Alright, let's get these things loaded up boys as fast as we can. Sounds good. You know what? Let's do this the old fashioned way. Three, two, one. Now that's what I'm talking about right there boys. Ooh. That was a job. That's a job and a half. All right, I'm going to take this on into town, and y'all boys want to go ahead and get those stacked up and ready to load it up again? Of course. Yes, sir. Went ahead and got that sold. That's another 40 grand in the banking account. I want them boys are ready. Woo, look at them go. Woo! Careful now, don't tip over. What are you doing? It's the boss. Oh, oh uh, hey, boss. Uh, the stick got stuck. What are you doing? Nothing? Yeah, well, for that one, you get to load it all by yourself. Oh, daggum. All right, good job, boys. You got us loaded. All right. Thanks, sir. down. Last strap there. Put a strap there. Oh, I see a yo show. Hey, In gentlemen, I'm back. I Whoa. was able to get us a, uh, a baler here. Come here. Come here. Oh, that's come here. nice. What? Are you sick? No, I'm not sick. You willingly bought green paint. Are you okay? Uh, you sent me to go get it, and the cows are kind of your thing, so I figured, hey, I'll, Wait. I'll match. Isn't he the one that bought our John Deere tractor and our John Deere cedar? Are you okay, Yosha? Yeah, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. You bought all this John Deere equipment. I bought it for you. I mean, you're my brother, and I'm trying to be nice, trying to help you out here, because I know you love green. Yeah, and there's a lot of red around here. There we go. I got it, boss. We are looking good. It's almost like we're professionals or something. I wouldn't say that. 
Have you seeded anything yet? No, I haven't. You want to go jump on the John Deere and plant that one field right there, and I bail a little bit, and then one of you other boys can switch off with me? Sounds good. Sure thing. If someone wants to set a firewood, they can, and if somebody wants to follow me with the uh, wind rower, start wind rowing this as well, that'd be nice. I'll grab the wind rower. Thank you. Alrighty, so me and him just switched tractors, because apparently that one was way, this one right here is way too tall for that tether to put all the grass in rows. Now we can get really efficient, and hopefully make at least four or five grass bells. Come in, Nate. Hey, what's going on? I uh, just got done planting that field. I'm pulling back up to the barn now. What you got for me now? Do you want to grab the mower and mow another field? All right, I'll find somewhere and start cutting. Sounds good. And Yosho, do you want to bring the tractor over here and start getting some of these bales picked up? Sounds like a plan. I'm just pulling up with the truck and the trailer right now. Sounds good. Hey, bud. Oh, I hate to bother you, but I'm uh, I'm out of diesel. You know what's funny about that? What's that? I just ran out of diesel less than 10 feet from the <laughs> diesel trailer. This is stupid. <laughs> well, uh, what we do? I'm looking at diesel trailer and I'm looking at a truck, so I know what I'm doing. I guess I'll get walking. I'd get walking back up here, because by then I should have mine filled up at least. Hey, uh, Nate, you on the radio? Yeah. Uh, we, we got a slight little issue with these uh these new bell sizes that you're uh you're making. Oh, you know how to fix that? Well, I mean, we don't have a weight, do we? No, 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 no. I you know how to fix it though, right? Put a weight on the back? We are not spending money on a weight. Go get your tree planter. A tree planter? Really? You want me to lug that thing around? It's heavy, ain't it? Oh, good point. All right, let me let me go get my tree planter. We'll, we'll see how well this works. Hey, Nate. Yes, sir. I'm heading over to that, that newly cut grass field. Did you want me to put that into wind rows? Yes, please. Okay. Whole thing? No, half of it. Can do. I think we got enough grass bells right now. Yeah, looking at Yosho's trailer, that's a pretty good stack. So what we'll do is why we'll she turn half of that field into silage. We're starting to make our own little good little size pile of manure now. Hey, I'm liking my uh, firewood business here. It's carrying all of us pretty well. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. We actually look really good. This farm is actually really good size. Hopefully we can get that old shed knocked down eventually and put us up a newer, nicer shed. Hey, Yosho. Yeah, what's up? You feel like running to town anytime soon? Uh, after I get done with these bells, I can. What you need? We need some more straw bells and we're nowhere near harvest. How much straw do we need? Don't ask that question. I don't think you want it. Uh, you go ahead and place the order and then I'll go pick it up. I hate to say this about Patty, but uh, we might need a feed mixer more than we need sheep right now. I'm thinking the same thing. He ain't going to be too happy about that. You know no, that, right? No, not one bit. We need to figure out a way to afford both. We could do another round of firewood. I mean, I'm pretty sure the machine's loaded and ready to go as it is. Just probably needs to be operated. Wouldn't be a worse idea to pull that one, our employee off and put him on the wood. Or do you want to go cut down some trees real fast? Uh, I mean, I'm going to get your straw and hay bales, right? Yes, yeah, I'll, I'll put the employee on it. All right, sounds like a plan. Hey, Trinity. Yeah, bud. Do me a favor. Run over there to the where we get the wood from. Just start cutting down a bunch of trees. It sounds like I'm only hired to, to cut trees. Listen, we're trying to get away from trees eventually, okay? Eventually, that's just going to become Yosho's job, but we need to afford another piece of equipment, and we don't want to take away from the sheep budget. Wait, what'd you just say? How did you say that? Come on, Nate. You know better than that. Did you just say you're buying more equipment? No. Am I just not going to get my sheep? Is that not happening? That's what it sounds like. Hey, Nate, I'm back with all the uh, bells. Oh, that's a few. Yeah, just just a few, man. All right, go ahead and take that on, Trendy. All righty. Just find you a place to dump that near the cows. Do not put that near the manure, though. You said put it right next to it? I swear. I know where to put it. Don't worry. You'll see. Hey, yo, show. Can you bring some? Can you bring that bell trailer over here and let me unload it, the bells I need from it? Really? What? You know we don't store most of our cow bells over there. Well, you don't want it out in the rain, do you? Some of them, yeah, because I'd rather have them out over here near the rain. Eventually, We'll get like a little barn and put up over here for it. Well, here, I'll let you unload it then. All I need is a few bells. I don't need all of them. All right, boys, I'm going to finish putting all these bells up. And if y'all boys want to actually take off and go get something to eat, it'd be nice. What you want? I'll go ahead and pick you up something and bring it back. Applebee's sound nice. Applebee's? All right, Applebee's it is. Oh, great. They took the trailer. The only reason I know the trailer was there because that's where I parked it yesterday. This is not going to be good. It looks like the employee's coming. So we'll see if he's seen them. Morning. Morning. How you doing today? You see something missing? Uh, yeah, the other two. Al along with the other two? Yeah, you're, the wonderful truck I sold you is gone. Yeah, they disappeared with it. You have any idea where they went? Not a clue. All I know is my checkbook was in the uh, console. You might be broke when they get back. If they come back. We got 80 grand in the banking account right now. Does that mean I'm not going to get paid? You don't get paid unless we get we, unless we get that truck back with the checkbook. Well, you want to go look for them? No. 
They'll come back. I got all. I got Yoshua's phone, so he won't make it far without it. All right. Well, I mean, we got a lot of work to do today. So you want to get your chainsaw? Let's cut down a bunch of these old, little trees back here. Yeah, let's get started. I think we've got this pretty much. This side pretty much good and done. It looks like a whole new area. I'd say so. It looks real good. Yeah. Put a barn there eventually. I, well, I want to start trying to look and getting a barn put out here. Get this one tore down. What's wrong with that barn? I feel like the next gust, the next gust of wind's gonna blow it down. Well, uh, okay. Let's clear out some of these ones back here. You got it, boss. Oh, yeah. Just enough to get out our way. Looks a lot better. Now, let's go back here to this field you decided you wanted to cut the other day with all these trees in it. Now, that's a field. It does look a lot better. Hopefully, your show and Patty show up pretty soon. I mean, do you want to help me feed the, the cows? Yeah, I will. What you need me to grab? Go find the skid steer. All righty, I will. Oh, look. It's time to harvest the soybeans. They look good and grown. Oh, yeah. They look nice and good. Probably need a little bit more time to dry off this morning, but we might be able to harvest those today. We need a harvester, though. Yeah, it doesn't help that we don't have a we don't have a pickup truck with a fifth wheel hitch anymore. On top of not having that, we don't have anything to haul it with. We don't have our trailer. All right, we need one bell of hay. You got it. Yeah, I wouldn't grab both of the top ones. I just grabbed one of them. Yep, and you're just gonna miss it completely. I got it. I stabbed it right in the bottom. All righty. Pull me out one of them straw bells, please. Sure thing, boss. Move, cows. Come on. Gotta get your bed bedding in here now. All right, I think they got a little bit of bedding for right now. Go ahead and shut that gate behind me. Shut. All right, let me check for a second, see if they got enough. Uh, Ashley, get another bell. You got it. Because they can do with another one. And I want these guys to have as much as they can because they're producing mighty fine gold over there. They probably will take all of this right here. There's your truck pulling up and they got something on the trailer. Oh, no. All right, shut this gate behind me. That's really expensive. Check it out. What you think? How much did you spend? Well, well, okay. All right, all right, all right. It doesn't so, matter right now. Look how cool yeah, our harvest looks. Look, look how awesome it is. My question is, how'd you get down the road without deal? Getting you. That's, that's a main other question. I know. Look at that. See, see we got soybeans over there. They're ready to harvest. Hey, oh, hey, hey! Watch. <laughs> whoa, it. whoa! Uh, my bad. Hit the hit the hit it too far forward. Man, you, you know how to drive that up here on the trailer. You guys are scaring me. You realize I can I, I can come up here too. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hop in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not my truck. <laughs> it's safe inside his truck. The only thing I won't destroy. How much did you spend? on the harvester okay so on the harvester he he quoted me forty five thousand for it and i was like okay well you know it's older it's used uh you know there's a lot of hours on it and i talked him down to 35. that's fine with me okay cool all right let's go harvest See, told you wait hold up boys we still have that trailer don't we oh no the one that you rented that's why our money's been going down over time okay we didn't buy that i thought you bought it no because that's a thirty-five thousand dollar trailer by the way boys y'all haven't even been back to the farm yet have y'all mm, no me and uh trandy cleared it up we got most of the trees got them really yep because i think it's time for us to do some upgrades some upgrades yo show that's why he was okay with us spending money ah he already had a plan coming to spend together more. now yep all right trandy we got a job i want to build three sheep paddocks out here all right so we got to get the building. We got to put some fences up for the sheep. And hopefully the $100 worth of wire we have will be enough. Let's see if it'll work. All right. There. All right. Now this is some sheep pens. Yeah, it is. I wish you would have bought me some better fencing pliers, but whatever. Hey, I, I have the cheap dollar store brand just like you, okay? Hey, yo, show you on the radio? Yeah, what's up? I need uh my favorite person to go buy some sheep. I thought we were going to have to wait on that. Well, instead of buying some fancy pens, I just put up uh three pens. Whoa. We're getting sheep. Tell you what, I'll go to town and pick out the sheep and make Patty stay here. Yeah, you can go buy the sheep. Perfect. Hey, here's $5,000 to buy the sheep with, okay? They're my sheep. Right. I can't go. Oh, we got to get you to work. No, I'm going. No, 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 I, no, I no, want no. To, I Come I back wanna, here. I want to pick out at least one. I'll stay, whatever. Good. Come here. I got you a job. All right. What? What is? What do you need me to do? All right. You ready? It's the best job of the day. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Oh, dang it, Trinity! Will you give me a ride to the logging area? Trinity, Trinity, take him with you. Oh, sweet. Okay, I'm putting this in the back. Hey, Nate, you on the radio? Yeah, I'm just switching out tractors. Why? Wow, what's up? What we got next here? Uh, do we want to try to sell some uh, firewood? We got that field of grass that we got to deal with too, right? I'm actually dealing with it right now. Uh, are you just tedding it? I'm tedding half of it. All right, let me get the. Uh, what, what are we doing with the other half? Uh, I was gonna put it in the silage pit. Hey, Trinity and Patty. Yeah. Have y'all bought supper yet? Not yet. Well, you went and bought the sheep, didn't you? That's not a funny joke, Nate. Yosha was telling me earlier that's what we're having for lunch. No, nope, sheep, supper. Are, Don't be sheep are friends. Don't be throwing the like that. Come on. Sheep are friends, guys. They're not food. Oh, they make a beautiful lamb chop. Oh, man. You know what they you. make really good is clothes, and that's all they're going to do for us. Hey, Trinity. Yeah, bud. You got that barbecue sauce I told you to get earlier, right? 
Oh, yeah. I'm turning my radio off. All right, his radio's off? All right, so we'll, we'll, which one do you think looks the fattest out of all of them? Uh, this big mama right here I'm looking at. Put some spray paint on her so we can save her for later. <laughs> you got it. Hello, this is your favorite store clerk. What can I do you for? Yes, sir. Well, I need something from you. Oh, really? Well, I mean, I would assume that you do. You called me. I need a water tanker. Like the semi-trailer tankers? You know, that carry, like, all kinds of cool stuff along with the water? No, 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 no. I need a water tanker for, like, giving sheep and cows water. Uh, yeah, I got one in stock. Uh, it's, uh, $8,000 is what I got it for. All right, fine. I'll buy it. All right. Well, just when our delivery guy shows up with your tank uh just go ahead and write him the the check it'll be uh cod sounds good hey i'll show look at my new toy i mean it's all they're almost full of water now well guess what when we have to give them more water they're sold six thousand liters at a time so that means we can now send two people to do that job on top of that we got to give the plants water hey boys anybody on the radio there yeah what's going on well i uh happened to run out of fuel Again? Well, not again. I just, um, I guess I didn't look at the gauge before I started mowing. So if somebody could bring the tank over to me, that'd be great. Thanks. Appreciate it. Love you. Bye. Yosho, could you stop and give him some of it, please? Let me empty what I got here. Actually, let me get, I'll, I'll go grab it. You use my truck for that truck I was using. I love how Patty still ain't got his own truck. Oh, wait. Patty, you still need a vehicle? Well, I mean, I'm kind of tired of driving around in tractors all the place, yeah? Okay. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Hey, this tractor needs some fuel, too, while you're at it. Listen, I gotta go catch an Uber somewhere. Patty said he wants a vehicle, so I'm gonna go buy Patty a vehicle. Oh, boy. There's no telling what he's gonna bring you back. <laughs> Man, what an exciting day. I get sheep. I get a new car. Uh, I don't know if I'd be happy about a second one. Oh, what are you guys talking about? It's gonna be great. So, Patty keeps saying he wants himself a new truck. Well, I got him the perfect vehicle. And we don't need a car. We need ve We need trust. And we need to be men. I've been talking to store clerk in the background. And he had this thing for sale for 500 Dollars. Patty's just gonna love his new truck. Ta da! That that's cool, but where's my new truck? That's your new truck. No, no, seriously, where's my new truck? That is your truck. This is my truck? Yeah, I gave $500 for it. You paid $500? I would pay you $500 just to take this away right now. Let's fire her up, boys. You guys ready? Cold start. Here we go. Oh, hold on, hold on. Give us some Here gas. We go. There we go. There you go. You Sounds know what? So I'm going to see the silver lining. This is great. I got my own wheels now. Shut off for a second. Oh, no, no. I'm going to do, do some donuts. Look out now. Oh, no. Woo! Oh, man. Hey, Nate, you on the radio? Yeah, just mowing some grass because somebody decided they wanted to uh, drive around the new truck. I mean, that's what happens when you buy them a new vehicle. And then we're going to go ahead and go take this to town and sell it. All uh, right, you go ahead and take that, buddy. You want me to return the trailer while we're at while I'm at it? No. I mean, we're, we're, we've already kept it this long. We might as well just keep it on rent. By the way, can somebody get in one of the tractors and windrow that other field and somebody else start collecting the grass and putting it in the silage pits? Yeah, we can do that. I guess we'll race some other time. How about both y'all bring y'all vehicles down here? And whoever gets to the barn first, that'll be the person who gets to collect the grass and put in the tile spit. Okay. All right, boys, there will be no kicking, no spitting, no hitting, no pushing. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ready, set, race. See you later, boys. I'm going to win. <laughs> oh, there go. <laughs> 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 Interference! <laughs> hey, Yosho. Yeah, what's up? Once we get done with these fields, we need to stop for a little bit and go ahead and spray them before we let them grow all the way again. All right. All righty, boys. I've done my job. All right, boss. Wow, I'm, I'm first. I'm calling that a day well done. I'm still wind or wind drawing. You're good. Y'all all got off early yesterday. It's my turn to get off early. I'm going home and I'm taking my truck and going to get McDonald's. I want some McNuggets, too, please. No, you didn't bring me home food y'all. It's not like you said you was. No, I brought you home Applebee's. Where was it? I didn't find it. Uh, Patty probably ate it. Uh. Yep, there, yeah. there he's guilty. Who ran through my wheat field? This time it was not me. <laughs> it was not Who me. Who went through the wheat field? I didn't even know we had a wheat field, so it wasn't me. All right, I'm going town. Forget all of y'all. So, just got this thing rented for $18,000, including the little forklift on the back. It is a nice little piece of equipment. Nothing too big, but with the amount of wood that Yosho's got to move today, I figured we had no better option than just go ahead and rent ourselves a semi-truck and trailer. Morning. 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 How y'all doing? Doing good.
good, man. What's what's up with this? Well, I see the metric ton of wood we had this morning. I figured I'd go spend about eighteen thousand dollars on renting a semi truck trailer and a uh, forklift. Nice. That'll help out tremendously. Oh yeah. Oh, you look. You got a nice one. You got the triple axle. Oh yeah. Well, this is a lot of wood we're toting. Yeah. Let me hit the button on in here so I can go ahead and unfold the rants for you, Yosha. What in the world? Check this out. Well, Thank you finally got your forklift. Yeah, I know. I got plan with the money that this wood is going to produce me, so let's get it on this trailer. All right. Hey, Patty. Yes, sir. So you want to hear a good thing about today? Yeah, totally. Don't tell the other boys, but I'm mm -hmm. planning. Once we get all this wood sold, I want to build a brand new farm. Okay, that's exciting. Well, you know, kind of looking at the way these guys are working, we might have a lot of time on our hands. Yeah. You want to go do some actual work with me? Oh, yeah. You want me to go start harvest and you start planting? Sure. All right, let's start that. I do not like the way this thing feels. I feel like I'm leaning forward. I guess we'll come over here and start harvesting the canola, though. Oh, no, this, this stuff over here is yielding pretty good, boys. Canola? Yeah. I haven't even got two passes done, and I'm already at 50%. Well, let me know when you need the trailer brought over. I'm going to need it pretty soon. Can you go ahead and start bringing it over in there? Yep. Thank you, buddy. Hey, what's y'all's guesses for how much money we'll get off that first load? 85000 85000 You think it's that high? Yep. 85001 25000 Okay, so I'll go 85002 uh, Well, that Fair. just put you out there. <laughs> Come in, Nate. Go ahead. What you got for me now? I bailed what I could. Um, We are about to swap. Oh, yeah? Yep, I'm about to let you take a for this harvester. All right. Well, I'll be waiting on you. All right. 92,144 is what we're at. Let me find out here. And how much should we guess? I said 85,000, right? Is what I guessed. Mm -hmm. And then 85,001, mm -hmm. 85,002, right? Yeah, you won. I went over, though. So if it goes to the next slide, it goes with Trinity with 25,000. It's the closest without going over if you're going to do uh, prices right. Technically, yeah. It's 82,851. Yeah, all of us went over except Trinity. Trinity went under. He was at 25,000. Well, maybe he wins a trip to the Bahamas. I was the closest, but still, I went over. Hey, Yosha. Yeah. You know, that right there is looking like enough money right there to fund every project we could have for the next 10 years. I told you, man. Firewood. Did I not tell you? Firewood. I hear you. I hear you. I will say this. We might need to look into getting a manure sprayer because we got a pile. I mean, we got plenty of cow patties. So, Patty, get your merch line ready. We can start giving away the cow patties with it. Oh, all right. I don't think that's going to be too good of a marketing ploy, but, you know, we could always try it. Don't worry. With how much money Yosha's making, we can afford anything. Well, boys, I got the cattle pen cleaned out. All righty. There's 20,000 liters of manure. Okay. I got a question real quick. Go for it. Um, are, What are we planting in this field that I'm sitting in front of? Uh, We're planting and corn there. Okay. I'm about to say, is this the time where I tell you you can't do it with that planter? Nah, no, it was the time that I was going to say that, but yeah. You could do me a favor, though. What's that? Disconnect from that tractor. Come help me for a second. Okay. You need the tractor? Yep. Connect it to that feed mixer up there. And empty it out because we got to give these things more straw. Hey, Patty. Yeah, what's up? You feel like a movie star yet? Um, uh, yep. If it didn't smell like cow patties, I'd feel like a million bucks. All right, Patty. We got this thing loaded finally. Wow, that was quick, actually. Yeah. It took a little bit more time than I thought it was going to take, but we got all the tomatoes and all all the lettuce loaded. Nice. Well, let's hope this lettuce treats us nice. All right. Let us have a nice day. I'm tired of you. All right, boys. I sold all that stuff for $25,000. That gum. That puts us a lot closer to it, but it ain't going to compete with nothing that Yosho's doing. Nah, Yosho's kind of showing us up way too much. Yeah. Well, when I get back to the farm, I'm going to have the construction crew meet me out there, and we're, I'm going to start building the new farm. Last load is loaded up, Nate, and this is a bigger load than all the other ones. All right. That sounds good to me, buddy. We're getting getting everything cleared out of the barn. We're about to start construction over here. All right. Well, this will be a nice, good haul. Over 200K. Yep. 200K worth of money I get to spend. <laughs> You're funny. Um, You think I'm joking. I'm about to spend 99% of it on the new farm. Oh, I'm sure you are. Oh, boys. These, this has been a difficult build right here. I see that. But it is a beautiful one at that. It is nice. A lot better than what we had before. in right, Patty. Oh, yeah. And just to think, Lumber got us all this. So one might want to call Yosho to tell him to come down here and take a look. I'll give him a holler. Right, this is a lot better than what we had before. Yeah, this is nice. I like it. Oh, yeah. Nice little sheds. I think now this right here should hold some silage. Yeah, it's amazing what firewood will do. I know, right? And boys, guess what? My best part. What's that? You see this uh, diesel drum right here? Yeah. It's already full. Man, Whoa. you did this right. So I decided I got tired of living with all three of us living in the same place. So this is my house. This is Yosho's. And this is Patty's. Nope, not doing it again. What do you mean again? What are you doing in my house? Nice digs. Like it. You ain't staying here. I'll sleep on the couch before I'll sleep in a tent. Oh, wait. Hold up. 
Never mind. You're right. You are right. Okay. You know what? Y'all can live with me. Okay. This is my room. You and him can share this room. You and Patty share this room. Hey, Patty. Oh uh, yeah. What's up? Stay on your side of the bed. You might want to come up here, Patty, and look at your dicks. I'm uh, no. I. You know what? I'm not even surprised by anything you guys do anymore. I know I'm gonna live in a tent. It's all good. No, you're not living in a tent. We'll let you live in the same room as your show. I don't believe you. I'm, I'm trying to get my hopes up. You know what? We have a spot for the workers to live in now. I have my own house. If you ever want to live here, you can. Hey, your show. Did you see? An actual pressure washer this time. Wow. Do I have a pressure washer? It doesn't have the highest pressure. It's taken me quite a long time to clean this thing, but yeah, works somewhat. Listen, it's the top of the line stuff, okay? We got a new farm. This is a new us, and now it's time to put some solid, uh, time to put grass in this pit. Let's all go back to work. I'm gonna go finish that canola. Yeah, you go do that. Oh, Ashley, you know what we can do, boys? What's that? Y'all can do me a favor and get the bell trailer and start moving these hay bales over there near the cows. All right. I'm gonna start marking out the beginnings of this field over here, and we'll turn this into a another hay we'll turn this into a hay field right here well boys i mean i got this field marked out for y'all y'all get the rest of those bells out i'm gonna park this near the field um yosho do you want to switch for me do you want me to take over that and you plan a field for a little bit uh i mean doesn't matter to me what, whatever you need to do uh, that's up to you buddy you want me to plant or do you want to plant are you talking about planting corn or no we don't have the equipment for that yet do we no we do not i'll stick with this all right what i'm gonna do then is i'm gonna go ahead and start uh, I'm going to start redirect seeding into one of these fields over here. Sounds like a plan. I'm almost done with this first field of oats, boys. I am emptying the harvester for the last little bit of canola. Alright, I'm going to do the field across from this and oats, and then I'm going to let somebody else take over with this with a different crop. Boys, I say this much, we are a well old machine now. I'd say so. The only thing we need to do now is get a couple of equipment upgrades here and there. I mean, I I'd like to get me a new planter or a seeder, my bad. Maybe get a couple of fine-tuning upgrades for Yosho as well, and we'll be looking pretty good. All right, I got to make it back to the farmyard. I'm already on E, and I I'm already blinking, and I don't need to run out of diesel like Yosho. Hey, Patty. Yes, sir? Have you fed your sheep yet? To be honest, I kind of forgot about them. Why don't you go feed them, buddy? Yes, sir. You know, we're getting pretty close to our land borders yeah we are aren't we we can go a little bit further out that way but maybe another five acres it may be time for us to start thinking about using some of our money to start purchasing some more land going out towards that direction and maybe finish off the rest of this crescent moon right here you know what i mean buy like everything that's over there next to that tree line that lines up with our trees better um i say we uh try to give uh patty a chance to get some of his uh clothing line started i mean he's got the wool going now should be about time to shear i'd say uh we need to look into getting him some type of workshop to where he can start making some clothing and see if we can get that ball rolling and then we buy some land i think we do what you say with we get patty that but i think we also need to upgrade our cattle pen first yeah probably wouldn't hurt they, they are getting a little uh tight in there aren't they yeah i think it's about time for us to open them up let them have a little bit more breathing room so much of this do you are you fine with keeping these bells in here or do you want to start thinking about moving them to like the main farm now we got all that room i mean they'll work for in here for now because i mean as you can see whenever we had all that that lumber in here the firewood in here we still have plenty of room yeah well we at least need to bring the like this piece of equipment out to the main farm then yeah i mean if we could get like a, a fort lift kind of like we had rented or like this one, that would be awesome too. They are selling this one for twenty five thousand. Yeah, if we could just buy this off of them, I'd be happy with this instead of the skidster. Before we do anything like that, let's keep mm. this on rent for a little bit, and then let's get our pat. Let's get Patty settled first, then the cows, then your stuff. Sounds good to me. All right, I think we got ourselves a plan, boy. So we're pulling up on in a dealership here. I want to pick up a new tractor and also talk to him about getting our current four tractor turned into a forklift. I think it'd be something pretty cool. I'm gonna shut this off and talk to him and see what he's got. What's going on, man? Well, how you doing there, sir? Another day in paradise. I'm doing good. I come for a new tractor. Oh, a new tractor. Boy, you guys are just buying tractors left and right. I mean, so do you have anything in mind? Not really. I just want like something that's smaller. I don't want nothing humongous. Nothing on the bigger side of your stuff. I want something smaller. Okay, so do you want like a a a smaller tractor that has 
character? Because I have one just in mind for you. How much character are we talking about? Usually that means breakdowns. Well, you know, it depends on, you know, your point of view of character. I mean, you know, we got quite a few over here, and each one of these tractors has their own story. Like, uh, I got quite a few of them over here. I mean, look at this John Deere here, man. Uh, it was actually a group of brothers that, you know, had their own farm and basically went in so much debt, they lost it all. I mean, like... I even heard the one guy struggle with some gambling every once in a while. And then there's 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 this little one over here. You know, you said you were wanting a small one, right? Mm -hmm. You know, like this there's this little Massey Ferguson. You know, he's a it's a 253 and uh, goes by the name of Ruby. Uh, there was these a uh, couple of fellas out in the middle of nowhere. I actually used to run a shop out there. They came by all the time. They bought this tractor uh, from me, and uh, you know the one Yosho character. Let me tell you, he he really loved this tractor a lot. And he, he named it Ruby, and, you know, apparently them two, they, they didn't see eye to eye. They split for a little while, and, you know, one of them took over the farm, and then the other one, you know, oop, oop. I was, I'm sorry, I'm getting so excited about it. I mean, but anyway, so it didn't go so well for them. They ended up selling everything, and uh, so they brought me back the tractor, and this this is Ruby right here. Okay. How much is Ruby? Oh, I, I, I'll sell you to you for uh, 5000 Deal. Uh, you know what? It's got character is got a lot of history i'll buy for five thousand dollars i need something else also i need a manure spreader all right well i don't have any in stock as you can see i mean you know i don't really don't keep that stinky equipment around here but i could special order one for you uh it'll be about seven thousand dollars and we'll have it in here probably tomorrow all right i'll shake on that actually can i pay another thousand and get it here by an hour or two i'll, I'll do the best i can all right here you go now there's one more thing i, I need from him i heard y'all do customization uh, yes somewhat so i have this old ford tractor and i want it turned into a forklift yeah. i mean i got a buddy of mine he, he might be able to help you out he he's a pretty good skilled welder that's all to him see how much it's gonna cost yeah hang on just a second let me go get him guys i bet a hundred dollars he comes back in a different hat well howdy there partner how you doing i know it how much are you gonna charge me sir to change a four tractor into a forklift. Oh, custom with materials and everything. You're probably looking at oh, around eight thousand. Fifty five hundred. Well, I tell you what. How about I meet you in the middle? Let's go eighty five. That's not in the middle. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. So how about we do seventy two hundred? Six grand. Sixty eight hundred. Sixty two. Sixty five. Sixty three. 64. Deal. All right, so we're going to go ahead and unload this tractor right here. I'm going to head inside, talk to the sales representative, and give him the money so that he can go ahead and start working. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I couldn't help it. We did bring Ruby back for you guys because there was an overwhelming amount of comments saying, bring your Ruby into this. Well, the hashtag bring Ruby back movement has won. Here's your Ruby tractor. Now, we just got to take her on to the farm where she belongs. All right, I got to pull up here to the house. I want to kind of stop here, see if any of the boys want to use it today hey boys you on the radio yeah what's up yeah what's up i got the new tractor oh yeah you got the new tractor yeah all right let me come check it out what happened to the other tractor what happened to the ford don't don't ask you traded in the ford for that yeah oh no i think it's a good looking tractor look it's it's named already okay it's it's named it's named it's named ruby his name uh... is ruby yeah, see, look, he traded in the Ford for Ruby. Why does it have a name? I don't know. It belonged to two people that worked together, and they couldn't get along, apparently. All right, um, so I come up with an idea yesterday when we was laying in bed. I'm going to attempt to use this to pick up the silage with. Is that going to work? I don't know. We're about to find out. All right, let, let, let's, let's check this out. All right, there we go. Yeah. What? There we go. All right. I'll see you in a little bit. That actually worked. <laughs> all right. All right. And now we just got to unload and sell all this and then take this back over there. Now, one thing I might go ahead and do is I might trade this in and actually get a bigger. Yeah, that's something we're going to do. I'm going to sell this, actually, and I'm going to trade in for a bigger one. Let me talk to the sale clerk and get something going on. After trading and everything like that, we roughly spent another $7,000 and we went ahead and upgraded ourselves to this little, to this big thing. And it holds way more than our others did. So we'll go ahead and take this on to the farm and start using it right away. Hey, Patty. Uh, yes, sir. You on the radio? No. Okay, good. I need that big tractor you're using. Why? Because I need more horsepower. That's why I'm using it, though. What? What? You're, you, hold on, you're on the planter. You do not need all that horsepower for that planter. This thing flies. I'm cruising at 11 miles an hour. I'm getting this thing done really fast. I think I should stay on this one. No, I need it. Okay, well, are you going to bring me a different one? I'm bringing you another tractor. I'm bringing you a tractor right now. Okay, all right. Well, that works. Oh, well, Begum. Uh, yeah, I guess you'd for sure need a bigger tractor. Here, I'll leave it on for you. It's nice and warm. 
Now I should be able to get some really work, good work done now. Wait, I needed some fresh air anyway. Hey, boys. Yes, yes sir? Either one y'all feel like taking this over? Over where? Like taking this machine over, like doing the work I'm doing. Uh, sure. What are you doing? Just running silage back to down? Yeah. Hey, sure, if you want to see it. I don't know what Yosho's doing. If he wants to keep doing his thing. I am spraying. And I think I'm just about done. Done. Okay, well, you guys can trade then. All right, looks like all the spraying's done there, Nate. All right, I got this loaded up for you if you want to take this. All right, let me drop off the sprayer here. Uh, what do we got left? Mowing grass? Mowing some grass, cutting that up. Actually, I'm going to focus on getting cattle fed first. All right, I got to crank up old little Ruby here, and we're going to go ahead and hook her up to the feed mixer. Now, of course, the first mixture we're going to make is going to be for the actual feed. I don't know how much feed do they need. According to this here, they need 16,000 liters. Great. We need roughly about 500. Actually, we need no 800. We'll take that. Throw that in there. Then I believe I can mix the rest with some of this as a filler. Yeah, that's some TMR right there. And there we go. Got the last little bit. We end up making a little too much, so we'll go ahead and take this over here and park it. I didn't hear one of the boys on the radio said that the guy came and dropped off the manure spreader. So let's go ahead and pick that up. <gasps> oh! Hey, boys, got a question. Oh, of course you do. What's up? Did y'all know our canola in this backfield is tall enough? If you run it over, uh, you um, destroy it. How'd you find that out? Don't ask. All right, it looks like Yosho's over there dumping that in the air. And this is our brand new manure spreader, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like it's working pretty good. They deliver something else. They kind of find out it was broken, so we ended up not using it. So I'm just showing y'all this new one here. This is the actual one we're keeping. I know I'm really excited about it. And Yosho's actually dumping the last little bit of silage from that last harvest we did because it's not a terrible idea to have some on hand. Now this is one issue we're having right now is you see what it's doing right here? It's only flinging it this small little bit. So we're only covering what's exactly behind me right now. Oh this is so irritating. I'm so tired of riding up and down this field. Anybody have seen our worker today? No I haven't seen him all day. I wonder where he's been. Did he call in sick or something? No I ain't heard anything from him. So he's a no-show. That means we got fire him. Yep sounds like a plan to me oh look never mind he's there late he's late hey, hey hang on hey on. I, I i gotta hear this excuse it's gotta be a good one how is it going Nate? going pretty good where you been man look where's your other brother at like i told him i need to talk to all y'all at the same time it's coming he's slow howdy boys howdy. i'm here how's it going buddy how's it going i'm gonna go ahead and stay on my tractor though because i gotta get back to work what's going on i just left the courthouse what? I just left the courthouse. I'm losing my farm. Really? Yeah. Well, I haven't been able to keep up with them notes. That's why I came working over here with y'all. I done sold my combine, my tractor, all my implements. All I got and left. You didn't tell sheds. us about it? Oh, it, it ain't y'all's problem. Yeah, but I mean, we, we could have, like, you know, Nate, we could have got some cheap equipment out of this. Oh, that's. What? That's messed up. You know what? Get in the house. Get in the house. Get in the house. Nope. Bad yo show. How, how do you figure bad? I was trying to help. You're sleeping in the tent tonight. Get in the tent. Oh, well, Go, uh, don't get. you treat me like I'm a dog. I will slap you. All right. So, so what's the situation with yours? Well, it's uh, it's up for sale now. Like I said, it's foreclosure property. How much are they wanting? I'm thinking they're wanting three for it. Three hundred thousand? Yeah, yeah. I gotta go pack what everything I up at my house today and uh, find somewhere else to live. Don't don't worry about packing up just yet. Me and him's gonna go in the house. So let's see what we can do. Okay? You sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Well, alrighty then. All right. I think we put an offer for four hundred thousand dollars. That's pretty generous. Just to make sure we get it. Okay. And if we do that, that means we're gonna have a four hundred thousand dollar loan on top of our heads. Yeah. That's not going to make Yosho very happy. You, you know he's the only one that hurt me for this, right? I can break the news to him. Oh, before we do that, I mean, you need to go down to the bank. Because all we need is two people's signatures on our farm. That's it? Yeah, we don't need all three. Because we're the majority. What a time to be alive. Where y'all boys going? Don't worry about it. We'll see you later. Hey, you on the radio? Yeah, I am. There's a manure spreader and a lawnmower. Figure out what you want to do. All righty. All right, Patty. You know we got to go in here. We got to get a $400,000 loan. Okay. You ready? All right, we got the $400,000 loan. Now we just need to call up the person who's selling the farm and give it to them. Then we'll fish it on Trinity's farm. Oh, there you go. Look at us. Now, let's hope Yosha don't see the account for a little bit. I think he's kind of distracted. All right, so let me give him a call real fast. All righty, and then wire them the money. We officially own Trinity's farm. Yee, look at us. Now we get to go tell them both. Hey, yo, show Trinity, you on the radio? Yeah, what's yeah, up? what's up? Uh, we need to meet at the farm. All right, I'll head that way now. All right, yo, show. Yeah. Patty's got something to tell you. Yo, show, come here, man. I, mean, oh, I, oh. I gotta, I gotta talk to you. Anyway, uh -huh. Nate yeah, took oh, out yeah, a huge no, loan, no. and uh, now we're four hundred thousand dollars in debt because of him. So anyway, uh, Nate, yeah, come here. 
Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. I need to kick your butt. Listen, we bought Trinity's farm with it, okay? I, I, I'm sorry that you're having some financial troubles, but it's not our troubles, too. Nate, come here. You're right. It's now it actually is. Too. Come here. You're right. It's not our troubles, too. I'm it's our farm. Hey, hey, hey. It's our farm. Better, better hold me back. It realistically actually is our problem I, now, Yo Show. Your problem, not mine. No, all of our names are on the farm. I also put up our farm as as the loan. Oh, you, you better hold me back. I'm going to kick your butt. L listen. It's good for us, okay? It gives us more trees to cut down for your production. It gives us more stuff to do. I don't have that many trees. I'll shut up on you over there. Let's go inside. Let's go sleep the day out. Let's sleep the rest of the day. It, it, hopefully, you'll wake up in a better mood tomorrow. And I am locking that door. Good morning. Ugh. Good morning, sir. Choking down some coffee here. How y'all doing this morning? I'm doing all right. I don't know. You might want to ask Yosho, though. You still mad at me, Yosho? Yeah. I've got my coffee. Look, if it makes it any better... I had to have Patty's signature to long get it, and he sing he signed it too. He bribed me. My signature's not on it. You're right, but technically for the company, we only needed two out of three. If all well, good morning, boys. of my hard-earned money goes right. up in smoke because of this, I know where you sleep. Uh, so so y'all want to y'all want to go take a look at our new farm? Yeah. Yay! New farm. You bought this sight unseen? Kinda. I, th I thought it looked more than what it is. You know, this is the guy that sold you that truck? Yeah. The piece of junk truck over there? It's a good truck. Have you seen it? I've seen it. It's got a couple of scrapes. He wasn't truthful about it. Yes, he was. It's not broke down one time. All the work that you had to put into it? I mean, it had been stove up for how long? Okay, it could be worse, okay? We have a lot of land with it. Not the only good thing. I mean, look at, look at the house, dude. I mean, that. Uh. But look, Yosha, it, it gets better. We got a new cattle. It looks a little outdated. It looks a little rough. Yeah. Yeah, a little. <laughs> this is not looking any better, Nate. But this this should be fine. It should hold. Ooh. Um, should hold plenty of cattle. By the way, just letting you know, uh, we need you to start doing more uh, tree work. Excuse me. I'm gonna go back this way. Uh, letting you know, we need about six hundred, about four hundred thousand dollars trees cut. Of course, you want me to fund everything. I, I see. Oh, how my business is that. the only business that is keeping yeah. this farm afloat. It's only $400,000 of trees you gotta cut down. Only four? You know how many hours that is? I mean, uh, listen, okay, we had to buy more land. We have more projects we want to buy more land for. This was the perfect land, okay? It's for sale. It was for sale, so I bought it. Well, I mean, this is more stuff for us to work on. We can finally move the cows over here and buy more baby cows and put them in our other pen. Yeah, those cows are getting kind of big. I feel like they need a new space. Alright, let's go back to the farm. Alright, yeah, sure. Let's get to work. Yeah, what do we got? We got that field of grass that we got to still pick up. I'm actually going to go harvest. Hey, Nate, you on the radio? Yeah. Since you spent like a uh, $400,000 loan, I'm going to go buy a bigger windrow. Go for it, bud. Oh, by the way, when you get up there, the uh, store clerk should have something waiting on you. He sent me a text message this morning about the uh, four tractors ready. Four? Oh. So you didn't sell it? No. I told you I didn't sell it. I told you I got an upgrade done. There you go, buddy. All right, it took so long. You're fine. I would just leave that right there and let me keep working. You get back to work, buddy. Okay, cool. I was going to maneuver out of your way, but there you go. Come in, Nate. Yo, what's going on? Uh, I got done spreading that uh maneuver, but I got a different problem. What's the problem? Snapped the axle on the trailer. Oh, fun. All right, take it, uh, pack it up, and take it back to the shop and tell them they need to replace it. I mean, or give us the money back. All righty. I'm starting to think manure spread has just been a little bit too much of a hassle. I'm about ready to just say screw it all. I'm thinking so, too. Nate, you on the radio? Yeah, what's going on? Man, I love the mods on this tractor. I know, it's pretty good. I gotta take a look at it. Well, come on over here to the, uh, to the barn, or to the farmhouse. I got another surprise for you. I picked up a new windrow. All right, let me go over there. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. I know, right? Here, here, here. You ready for this, Nate? Yeah, go for it. This is a Vermeer, so, you know, you would think this here is, like, stupid expensive. They're, like, $30,000 windrows, right? Yeah. Uh, well, it's it's heavily used. Uh, it does have some leaks in some of the lines there, so, uh, you know, we will have to watch the hydraulic fluid a little bit. But I was mm. able to talk him down to only ten grand. Hmm. What? I think we got to do something that I didn't really want to do. We need to load up three small tractors. I got to work on the grass. I, I want to play with the new with the new windrow. You go sell tractors, I play with the new windrow. Hey, Trandy. Oh, uh, yeah, boss. Where's the other case I age? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Hey, do me a favor. What do you want? Load it up. I like this tractor. Load it up. Why you got to get rid of the best one? Uh, hey, you on the radio? Uh, yeah. You got a chainsaw, don't you? Oh. You know what must be done. All right, Patty. We got to decide on us some new tractors. I want two new tractors because we got to get something bigger. This looks pretty big right here. I was actually thinking about this one. You know what? I'm having to get rid of my only John Deere on this farm. I think yeah. the John Deere becomes the biggest piece of equipment on the farm. So I think, yeah, I agree with you. We go with this John Deere. Cool. Now... 
we have to decide what other tractor we want. I'm thinking we go with the white. Okay. Let's get all these unloaded. Let me go talk to the store clerk. Sounds good. Man, that store clerk drives a hard bargain, but it is worth it. So what ended up happening, we ended up trading in all these tractors for those two big tractors plus another 38 thousand dollars all right i gotta load this on up right here that there that there we should be pretty much good to go let's head on back sounds good all righty yo so should love these new tractors oh yeah bet everybody's gonna love these hey trendy where you at i'm out here in the logging woods what's up won't you come up here so you can grab one of these tractors all right i'm coming oh yeah now this right here is gonna be good for silage oh yeah that's gonna pack it down real tight you want to come with me and take over the harvester and i use this for the other sure. hey osho what do you think uh what you got oh this is a john deere 4840 that's a pretty big tractor and we had to go a little bit bigger we had to go bigger than what we had before couldn't go small upgrade so we went for a little bit bigger. I mean, it's John Deere. Exactly. But yo, show you know what the problem with all this new tractors are? What's that? We need like new tillage equipment because what we got right now is way too small. I mean, a lot of our other equipment's got to be upgraded now. Uh, we need some uh, firewood sold first. Have you looked at the bank account lately? I know. All right, I just looked at the owner's manuals. This tractor has 250 horsepower, and the white field boss has 200. I mean, 170. So the John Deere is our biggest one. Yep, John Deere is the big daddy. Yosho! Yosho! Fine, he don't have to come down for eggs. I'm gonna go outside. Smells like a beautiful morning here on the farm. So we have to go ahead and get started with getting our cattle moved over to the new pasture, getting some other little minor stuff done here and there on the farm. So, which was the funny part, we didn't end up using either one of these side fish yet. So we gotta get those into production today, hopefully. We also, we need to see if we can sell some wood because we need $20,000 today for a new type of production. I want to make some wheat bread or uh, some flour with the meal today. And the boys are here and they're awake and ready to go. Morning, boys. How y'all doing? I'm pretty fantastic. good. I actually got some sleep last night. I didn't have to listen to well, you guys snoring. It was great. Man. I can't help it that I, you know, I saw logs in my sleep. I mean, you know, my business is firewood. I mean, come on. You know, sawing logs, that's kind of what I do. All right, so what's on the agenda today, Nate? Believe it or not, working. I'm going back home. See you guys later. No, get back here. You forget. We know where you live. Yeah, I know where you live too. Don't don't worry, don't worry. We're, we're bringing work to your new house. Why don't you guys just come over there? We gotta take the work from this place and transport it to there. Huh, sweet, cool. I can go to bed then. No, come back here. We have to sell some firewood because please tell me you have some firewood saved up. Has anybody cut any firewood or logs or trees or anything? Yeah. There you go. Nope, 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 nope. There you go. Nah, I'm not. I mean, nope, I don't want to nope. hold it. Got your name on it. I don't want to hold it. Hey, yo, shall we hold this for a second? Nope, I had to cut the firewood. All right, so by the way I was saying, I'm going to let y'all quit playing there for a second. We have to get the firewood sold. We have to, I want to buy a mill today. And then on top of that, we need to move our cattle from the current pasture they're in to your pasture and then put more cattle in that pen. And then we need to fertilize everything and make sure that we plant all the fields. Did you say something about windrowing all the straw? Oh yeah, and then we gotta get rid we gotta get their straw out of there. It wouldn't be a bad idea to also start on making another field or two. All right, so let's get to work, boys. You, you right. kind of have to love I being I call the John Deere. Well, get back here. I'm going to win row. You are not win rowing with the John Deere. This is the perfect machine. You are not taking the biggest tractor for the lightest job. I'm going to get to work. I can't hear you. This, this tractor is really loud. I can't hear you. Sorry. Who did all that solid work and didn't compact it? Man, we should fire that guy. <laughs> I don't know. That guy's trouble. I know, right? You just can't find good help these days, can you, Nate? Not at all. No, you cannot. Like, all the good help aren't worth anything. Especially Patty. I'd take insult to that. Yeah, I would, too, if I was if I was the guy that did it, for sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to let you keep doing that, Yosho. I'm going to go use the skid steer and start mucking. All right. Sounds good. Uh, I'm finished wind rowing. Where you want me now? Uh, can you compact that silage down and get it looking good and pretty over there? Because somebody didn't do their job. I can I do my best. Time. Thank you for being an outstanding employee compared to somebody else. I appreciate hearing that. All right. So I got to open up gate here and i'm gonna take two of the girls and now we gotta transform them all the way across town man somebody spread manure and that filled real well i know right whoever did that needs a raise 
I suppose I've That's already right. gotten a raise. You did. You got the one penny. Oh, yeah, one penny. Okay, we'll go up another penny. Now, you're at 102 pennies a day. Yeah, why are you giving me Canadian pennies, though? Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. One of them was a Mexican peso. Man, I'd like to know where he's finding all that from. Me, too. All right, Nate, you on the radio? Yep. I'm loaded and ready to go. Where you at? I'll come pick you up. Uh, well, I'm moving cattle right now. Why don't you go ahead and sell it? All right, I'll go ahead and take care of it, then. Yeah, I got to move these cattle. Uh, we've only got a trailer that can fit two at a time, so this is going to take a a long time to move them. All right. And plus, Yosha, don't don't forget. I'm gonna need you to save that money anyway, because once I get all these cattle loaded up and taken over to the new barn, we're gonna need to buy some new babies. Okay. Hey, Nate, you on the radio? Yeah, what's going on? All right, done with all the firewood. I'm going to go ahead and hop in a tractor and get the uh, the baling done. All right, you go ahead and do that. I'm trying to move as much of these cows as I can right now, and then I'm going to hopefully be able to start getting work on construction of that new windmill. All righty, so I had the dealership drop this off right here so we can transport stuff a little bit quicker. This is a different moving trailer for these cattle. It costs 800 bucks to rent it for the day. So I'm going to rent this and so we can move everything quicker because this back and forth, back and forth with those little ones is just like ridiculous. I honestly think we should trade it in for this so that we can move cattle quicker because now having that other cattle pasture and it holding 80 cattle compared to 25 cattle, this is a lot smarter for us to do long term, especially if we plan on buying more calves and really striking that out. Because eventually the plan would be to start opening up a slaughterhouse and that's just down the road we won't speak about today. And there it is. It's finally all empty. Now we got to call up our cattle person and they'll drop off some more calves so we can start growing them out. Now we'll probably end up buying one more bull if I take a guess. And on top of buying another bull, just fill out the rest of that pen with nothing but straight heifers. Come in, Nate. Yeah, let's go on. Hey, bud, I got to run up to the bank and finalize your purchase. All right, sounds good. You go ahead and do that, bud. All right, man. Hey, Yosho, you on the radio? Yeah, what's up? I got all 20 head of cattle moved over to this new pen. We really need, I really need to go to the store and buy a new feed mixer of some sort because our little feed mixer driving it this far just isn't going to cut it. All right, well, see if we can find a, a used one that, you know, like a good deal or something. That way we're not spending more money than we have to. I know. I'm going to go see what I can do. And of course, $21,000 later, we have ourselves. Our good old feed mixer. Now, of course, we'd have a little bit. Of, we had another eight thousand ish taken out of the account for the new cattle. We ended up upgrading this time to Holstein instead of Angus, just to make sure we're producing more milk at the new site once they grow up and they get older and they become nice, strong, healthy cows. Now we just get to have fun. We gotta put together a mixture and take it over there to the new place. Hey, yo, show you on the radio? Yeah, what's up? Need your help. I'm heading towards the cattle barn. I'm gonna need your help loading this stuff up because we need to make at least one make sure to go ahead and take it over there to the new cattle barn. Okay. Our kisser ain't gonna load in this anymore. Uh, you know where we put the tractor uh, loader at? Uh, actually, no, I don't know where it's at. I was around there somewhere. It's gotta be in one of the barn. It's gotta be in the barn. Yeah, so, okay, it's where I thought it was. So, I'm gonna need that, uh, tractor with a fort lift or front end loader when you get done. Why? Because I can't pick up those bells with our fort lift. Skidster? Where's Skidster at? Over there near the old Silas Pits. All right, Yosha, I'm gonna go down to the other cattle lot and I'm gonna start giving them some TMR. All right, I'm still loading bales. Sounds good. Hey, Patty, you on the radio? Oh, yeah, what's up? What you working on, buddy? We ain't heard from you from a little bit. Been logging. How many liters of logs do you have? Uh, there's probably maybe 30,000 in Yosha's thing now. Oh, you're good for the day then. Uh, why don't you go cut a grass field? Okay. All right, and now that we have that fully finished, and you set one bill down there, and go ahead and load up this right here. Now we're working. Start dumping all this straw directly into here. So the cows have something to lay down on for bedding. They have their feed that they need, and they have an actual pasture to graze in. It's actually like an actual dairy farm now. Hey, y'all show you on the radio? Yeah, what's up, man? How many more straw bells do we have? So I got three of the large ones that I just unloaded, and we have ten of the small uh, bells from the first uh, harvest that we had. Uh, do I need to reload these back up or something for you? May not be the worst idea. We're in a tricky situation as well. All right, what's the tricky situation? We're in a straw crisis. Oh, you need straw for the bedding, don't you? Yeah, and those two bells I just took, they didn't fill it up all the way. Uh, I'll bring you three more large ones. How's that sound? Yeah, but th that just masks our problem for right now. We need to figure out a long-term solution to this. All righty, so what I'm going to do right now is I want to kind of jump into the sky, find a little place that's going to make sense for us to do it, probably be a little bit further out here, and we are going to build ourselves a little windmill and a little road to it. Let's go ahead and get it done. Three, two, one, let's go.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, we can officially have a place to take our wheat and oats and all that stuff so that we have a better way to make it into more money. Just gotta drive down here. And this is kind of the imagined place for like where we want to put all of our important stuff to go, like most of our other productions. I know we want to put the horse farm over here, my pizzeria or whatever we build over here as well. Just a lot of stuff like that we are kind of looking over here. So, okay, I can either do five wheat for four bags of flour or i can do five a week for four bags of flour and one bag of pig food and it's already working it's already made two flowers so we'll let this thing keep working and making this magic they'll spawn whenever they're ready to go i've been busy what you been doing oh so you stacked up all the wood that i cut last night i was up pretty late cutting all this yeah i hear you hey you gotta get some rest somehow hey all right yeah no i went in and did all this because i want to build a bakery today really you want to build a bakery yeah bakery so are you gonna make bread maybe man why why, why do i have a weird craving for bread maybe. anyway all right that sounds awesome yeah it's only fifty thousand dollars i'm just gonna pretend that i didn't hear that and i'm gonna go get to work what are you doing today uh i was probably gonna windrow some of that grass i cut maybe won't you ted it all right, I can do that. Um, when I get back and after I build the uh, place we're going to make the bakery, I want to make, I want to harvest the fields. Hey, Trinity's back. Oh, I noticed how to show up for work. Congratulations. I've been dealing with the court stuff. I was wondering where you at this morning. Find something to do. Get your job done. Oh, you know what you can do? What's that? You see all those pallets of like tomatoes and stuff like that over there? Yeah. Why don't you go put it on the other trailer? All right. Come on. There we go. $60,000 in our pocket. Time to take all that money and go build ourselves a bakery. All right. We're going to come back here and we are going to start the construction of our next little piece of this puzzle so we can start making some bread. Let's get on up into it. And let's get it started. And of course, after all that hard work, we got to go ahead and start taking our flour over here and unloading it so we can go ahead and start producing some bread. Now, of course, here we can actually look at this and kind of see what everything's going to take. This is what it's going to take to make bread right here. And we're going to do that all day long. Let me get all this stuff transferred over there so we can go ahead and get everything working. All right, looks like we have two things of pig food already. I'm actually going to leave the skid steer over here. Hey, boys, you on the radio? Yeah, what's up? Yep. Letting y'all know I'm leaving the skid steer over here at the mill and the bakery. Where are those at? Uh, Right next to, right around the other side of the barn. Oh, okay. We've been actually doing pretty good. It's almost like we're trying to grow a farm or something like that here. I'm telling you. Who would have thought? I know. If you, All it took was y'all trusting me. Believe <laughs> that I knew what I was doing. <laughs> oh, man. You, you, you're making me choke on my water over here. <laughs> Hold on. Who was the person who bought you all your resources you need to make firewood with? Who's the one that said the firewood was a bad idea? Who was the one who invested into the firewood idea, even though he thought it was a bad idea? Yeah, well, who's the one that came up with the idea first? It doesn't matter who's the one who invested into it. Uh, uh, hello, it's our money. Uh-huh. Yep, yep. You forget, I decided to go ahead and still invest into it, because we had other ideas to invest into. No, it doesn't work that way. We're all in this together. You're right. We are not, it is, I'm not the final boss but i'm the person who makes sure we manage the money correctly <laughs> we're like you're the one that spends the money ain't that right little bro uh yeah little bro you can move back into the house if you want to talk like that no i'm happy where i'm living hey patty yeah what's up uh when you get down refilling that tractor after you ran out over there can you bring it over here please yeah thank you buddy did you run out of fuel again no no you know what i'm doing yosha i'm just making sure i don't get any sediment in like the fuel pump or anything like that okay all right just making sure because i was gonna pick on you hey yosha you on the radio yeah what's up you wanna come get this harvester so you can do that backfill so we can switch uh you want the windrow yeah i'll take over the windrow all right well i'm already in the next field windrowing so where you at i am washing off your combine all right well then i'll come to you there you go. All right, I'll do that in a second. You go ahead and take that uh, harvester and go ahead and start getting that work done. All righty, so now we just got to take this little sucker and start getting on to wind rowing. He's doing his job over there. But that's the one thing I love about this, seeing everybody do their jobs and working individually. Like, this is really, really cool to me. You get everybody out here doing a good job and all completing, going for the same task at the end of the day. Like, that's what ladies and gentlemen, why I love multiplayer so much is you it's hard to get this experience anywhere else. Hey, Nate. Yeah? I don't think we have a tractor that has skinny tires on it, do we? For him to fertilize, he's going to need one. Let me get on the phone with the dealership, and let me get that uh, new sprayer ordered. We'll just use that instead. 
And so if he has to run over the crop, I mean, just like this, if he has to run over the crop, at least he'll be a lot less with that new sprayer. Alrighty, I just signed for this sprayer right here. It's a newer-ish sprayer. Hey, Patty, I'm gonna uh, drop this windrow off. I'll pick up the baler if you want me to. Okay. You think Ruby will be able to cut grass? Nah, she tips over. I tried hooking her up to the mower already. At least now we got the sprayer upgrade, and next upgrade we need to get will be the plow. Uh, that has to be like one of the next like actual quality a life upgrades we do. Patty, won't you come pick up the mower, go over to y'all, to the uh, second farm property, and start mowing a good chunk of land out for a wheat field. Okay. Come in, Nate. Yeah, what's going on, buddy? Uh, I need to go pick up some fertilizer. We're empty. All right, go ahead and pick it up, bud. All righty. I'll just charge it to your account. Sounds good to me. Right now, we gotta come back here. I wanna at least get this one bale finished out all the way. I will say, like, look at this. So you got the trees growing over there. That looks beautiful, in my opinion. Not only do you have those trees growing right there, you also have everybody just legitimately sitting here working as hard as we do on the farm. All right, I'm actually gonna turn the baler off for a little bit, and I'm gonna set this right here, and I'm gonna see if there's any other projects that need to be done today. Which, actually, there is one thing we need to do. I'm gonna go ahead and feed the sheep today. I'm going to use the good old forklift that we got not too long ago. I got a question. Why do we own these sheep again? I don't know. I'm not a shepherd, so I couldn't tell you. Neither am I, but I mean, I feel like the person who's supposed to be their owner just don't take care of them ever. Don't feed Man, them. Man, I feel like the person who's their owner is always stuck on other jobs. He has no time to go feed them. It'd be great if somebody could take care of them for him. Thanks. Appreciate it. Love you. Bye. Wow, Nate. He's sassy. Alright. Did you upset him this morning or something? I don't know. Alrighty, guys. Got all that manure mucked out of there. We need to eventually put some more bedding down, but I'm not going to worry about it this very second. Oh, our bank account does not look pretty at all. We have, like, nothing left. Not really anything to sell, either. Uh, well, we got some firewood. We might as well take one more load of firewood, not a full load, maybe, like, two or three pallets, just to make sure we can sustain ourselves. Alrighty, so we went ahead and got ourselves five pallets loaded up. I'm gonna let you take this all into town, just so we have a little bit extra cash in our pocket for when that big bill comes out, and we really need to start hunkering down, like, when the bread starts being made, that's the end of that production. We're gonna go ahead and start selling the bread i know we're also getting now liquid slurry we need to figure out what to do with that situation uh there's just a lot of stuff we need to honestly start thinking about what's the next steps with and i think we're coming down to a general understanding for everybody that we're getting close to where we need to be financially to start saving or we, we're getting to the point uh, structurally where we can start saving for our farm and be able to start making more and more money to where we can pay that four hundred thousand dollars the debt off so in the future we can expand even further even possibly get another loan and expand even more all right hey, we're gonna sell the rest of these right here and have all of our firewood sold for right now that we'll sell for the day there we go that will give us a little bit of extra money so that we don't have to worry about not having enough money now there is one thing i want to do before we leave this right here i've been looking at for a little bit it's only eight thousand dollars i think we go ahead and pick this up so we can use this and get our fields cultivated a little bit faster and and made faster. So I'm gonna go in there and talk to the dealership guy and hopefully get that bought. And there we go. Went ahead and spent seven thousand five hundred. We got him to come off the price tag by five hundred dollars. And now we have some officially upgraded equipment. Now we can actually start having our fields done correctly instead of the way we've been doing it. And we can also get it done faster with the width. Of this. Alright, you got to put this over here. Got to clear out all these bells out of the field. I mean, it looks like our animals are actually doing pretty good. I know the other pasture they are starting to collect slurry. For what I one of the other boys just told me a little bit. Ago go it's been a pretty interesting day i mean we've been really busy but also at the same time not so like pretty much the only thing that's really happened interesting today would be the other would be the new building and hopefully that right there will be able to start making us some good amount of money and we'll be able to start really producing more from there <laughs> Oh. oh man, hey, hey, you know, some of us are trying to sleep upstairs. What are you doing making all that noise with them dishes? Somebody hasn't washed his dishes in a few days, and so somebody has to actually do the dishes every now and then. Hey! Well, you know, Darn it, it wasn't my turn to do it. Hey, you know what? Hey, yo, don't go back outside. We're finishing talking here. Nah, you know, I heard you guys arguing outside. outside. Hey, I can't outside. Go, go. Hey, it wasn't we my turn to, to do that. dishes. Right. Well, you know I what? Back to work, Trinity. Oh, uh, hey, let's go to work, guys. Hey, it's time to go to work. Yeah, couple that's, argue, what huh? thought, that's what I thought. All right, so what we got today? So, field work. 
go get it done there's a lot of work to be done around here find something get it done get it done quickly uh y'all probably need to start working on the new field over there on y'all's property start getting that worked on okay take any tractor you need all right yeah uh, i stole the field bus actually earlier this morning got a lot of the wind rowing done so uh actually who has not harvested recently i think we've all had a shot at it for a little while there but yeah it's been a little bit i mean i got firewood that i can go sell for starters because uh i looked at the bank account this morning yeah we ain't looking too good what do we need to harvest i'll harvest i don't care uh one two three four five six fields oh okay yeah trinity get right on that okay yeah five fields of oats and then one one of canola. All right, sounds yeah, good. Yeah, I'll do it. All right, I'll get to work on firewood. Okay, ready? Break. Go team. Yay! Go team. Hey, Yosho, take that pig feed and go sell it too. Oh, the one that's in my truck already? Yeah. All right. I will right, we'll go ahead and unload this into here. And so now we just need to turn on the mill again, hopefully to start milling this into flour. Wow, we could turn sorghum into flour, corn into flour. Hey, you know, yeah. if you keep talking to yourself, people are going to think you're crazy. You already think I'm crazy, so what's the difference? All right, so I guess there's nobody else took it yet. I'm going to take the John Deere and start getting cultivating the fields. Hey, boys, I'm not going to lie. This uh, new cultivator we got is actually really good. Oh, yeah. You like it? Oh, yeah. It's triple the width our other one was. Well, I can see it from here. It's coming out real nice. Well, I've got this field all made up in a nice pretty rose. So if somebody wants to come bail it, or if not, I can just come do it. There's also that big old grass field over at our farm. I'll get cut. Does it need to be cut again? Yeah. Yeah, it needs to be cut again. There's a lot of work that needs to be done, boys. We need more help. Does anybody have Bertha's phone number? Oh, no. No, you know what happened last time. She, I don't know if she wants to talk to any of us. Listen, I told you not to date her, okay? And it was your own fault. <sighs> I told you to leave her alone, Nate, and you didn't. I told her not to date her. It's either McDonald's or KFC she's working at. I, mean, I still if you got go that restraining order food. against her, so I don't know about that one. All right. I guess you just need to work like a third, like like another man. Well, you know, I'm, I'm okay with it, you know, but like the legal system and everything just really isn't okay with it, so I want to push it. Well, I mean, as long as prison's different, we'll be fine. Prison's way different. Ooh, actually, I really like that new cultivator. Like, yeah, no, this is a really good one. I'm just waiting for Yosha <laughs> to sell some lumber, and then I'm buying another uh, planter to really start boosting up like how fast we do stuff. All right, so let's come over here, back up right here, and let's take the baler. I guess I'll go bail that one field back there of straw, so at least that's already done for everybody. Hey, Trinity, are you anywhere near the fuel trailer? Oh, no. Are you serious? I yeah. can get near it. You know, this lawnmower sure does take a lot of fuel, apparently. Uh, did someone yeah. decide to check the level before they hopped in it? I mean, you know. No, that's some, that's who's, that's not my responsibility. It kind of is. That's whoever drove it last. I blame them. I think it was Nate, so I blame Nate. Don't Give you run minute, out I'll of fuel there. almost every month? I mean, come on, dude. At least once. Yeah, you guys really got to start filling these things up. I don't know what's going on with you guys. Oh, so it's our fault. Okay, <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> You hear that, Nate? Uh, I hear him. We're going to have to have a team meeting about this, guys. Uh, well, we can have a team meeting. All in favor of making uh, Patty have to walk the rest of this time, say aye. I'll walk back aye. home. Yeah, you know what, Trinity? I'm going to go home. I'm getting dinner started. All right, sounds great. It's like 9 o'clock in the morning. It's going to be dinner time by the time I get back to our house. So We're roasting a hog. Really? That sounds great. You, you know there's a lot of work needs to be done over there near your Well, farm. I'm hitchhiking, so if somebody wants to you know, give me a ride or refill my my tractor that'd be great hey yo sir you're heading to town right now aren't you yeah i'm going to sell the last load of firewood do me a favor pick up another cedar just identical to the john deere we have uh how am i gonna get it on this trailer there's no ramps hey they got forklift there all right i'll see what they got coming up to the last little bit right here we should be about done with merging everything for right now somebody's always driving to these daggone fields I, I tell you, it's Patty. I feel like it was Trinity. He's just trying to cover it up before somebody else notices. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm, read you like a book. I mean, it's almost like he's the one harvesting it, so no one else would really see it, so why would he need to do that? Exactly. Why would I wrap myself out like that? I'm doing a 300 IQ move. Oh, look, Yosha finally came over here. He's got the new cedar. That's good. Hey, Nate, I got the new cedar. That's good. Hey, take it in there, uh, unload it, and see if you can get the other cedar out of the shed see if i can get it out of the shed what is that supposed to mean there's a lot of stuff in front of 
of it. Uh, figures. Hey, yo, sir, do you want to switch with me? Uh, I got three bells left. Yeah, I know. Do you want to take this over and I take that over? Sure. Sounds good. What are we planting over here? Uh, I'll uh, plant oats. All right, got that in there. Got my shit. Yep, we're good. All right, boys, I'm going to head down the road. I'm going to go down to the second farmyard to go ahead and feed those cows. Okay. I'll be heading to town before too long. Damn four. Gotta sell this grain. No, we're not selling that grain. Goes to the mill. Alrighty, here we are back on this farm with all of our little cattle over there. Just gotta take this wide turn and give them some good old feed. Alrighty, I'm actually gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna take this back to the shop. Alright boys, the cows are full of food, but uh, we got a little bit of a problem over here. What's the problem? 63,000 liters of good old-fashioned slurry. Ew. Hey, yo, Sean, I'm going to go inside the house. I need to find out something to do with that slurry. All right. Sounds like you're going to spend more money. Hopefully to make us a lot more. Okay. I can live with that. Let me try to call them real fast. Yep. Hello. How's it going? Yes, sir. Well, yeah. Okay. We have 60,000 liters of slurry and probably another 50, 60, 80,000 liters of manure. Oh, you can turn that to power. Yeah, that's perfect. How much are we looking at long term? Okay, yep. And you only want 20%? Okay. Oh, so you won't take it out automatically, but we'll pay. Okay. That sounds good to me. Uh, we can actually have a delivery over there of the slurry instantly. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good to me. I'll go ahead and get over there with it. Thank you. Hey, yo, show. Yeah, what's up, boss? Call your favorite person. Tell them we need a slurry tank. What? You heard me. Call your favorite person. Tell them we need a slurry tank. Why are we getting a slurry tank? Yeah, why does he need to call me? Listen. Y'all are all wrong. Where are you going with the tractor I need? You need this tractor? I was going to go pick up more bales. Take that one. I'll find one of the other tractors. Because I just I just uh, talked to the local BGA, and they said that they could turn our slurry and manure into power, and we'll get... What they'll do is they only want 20% of the profits. That's not a bad deal. No, not at all. So I think we need to take that. All righty, we're getting all the good, beautiful slurry loaded up. Hey, yo, show. Yeah, what's up? I got you a swimming pool for you to go swimming in. No, no, thank you. You know what we need to do? What do we need to do? We need to fill this up with manure and bring it over here. So I told them yesterday, they said that they'll actually take manure as well, as lot, especially our silage. They said that silage makes really good energy. Well, yeah, because, I mean, it's already decomposing and stuff. I mean... That's the amazing part about it. The methane uh, production off of that's a lot greater. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong at all. So that means we need to go ahead and get some of that stuff moving. Actually, do you want to go ahead and start and take this kid's steer and load the manure up in here? All right. Well, how, do we, how do you want to handle the silage? Once we get all this manure loaded into here, you know that shed that you saw over there at the BGA? Yeah. Just unload it into one of the stalls over there at the BGA because they, they probably won't take all that manure at one time. I'm going to go try to start working on spraying, but I'm about to make somebody really mad. Uh-oh. What'd you do? The one tractor that has, the one tractor that has row crop tires is missing. So that means somebody else took it. So let me call somebody up over the radio and see if I can find it. Hey, boys. Y'all on radio? Yeah. Yeah, what's up? So I'm taking guess Trinity's in it. Um, Can you return the John Deere, please, sir? Uh, I'd prefer if I didn't have to. I would prefer you did because I'm about to start spraying. Fine. I mean, you can you use one of the other ones. I can't. That's the only charge. That's row crop tires. The only one has row crop tires. Fine. I'm bringing it to you. Here you go, Nate. Thank you. Crank it back up. I'll crank it back up. Go ahead and go get your little white tractor. All right, I got that. So let's go ahead and unfold the new sprayer. So that's your first time I've been able to use this thing. <gasps> Yo, show! Come in over radio right now. What? Come here to this backfield right this minute. Backfield? What? Just a right Nope, 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 nope. Come nope. on. Nope. I'm going to hop back in your truck because I know you won't run into your truck. I don't know. I'm kind of, it's kind of worth it at this point. All right. Get out for a minute. We need to talk. Yeah. Yeah. No. This nope, is getting nope, ridiculous. Nope. No, you gonna no, come out here no, and you gonna ruin like the it. one farm I got? It's salvageable. We, we can make it work. Do you realize that both of these have different harvesting times? Like, this hey, is hey, it. hey, hey. No, no, stop. Stop. Stay away. Stay this away. This is hey, ridiculous. Hey, hey. You realize no. this is stupid. So now I gotta hey, fix this. Hey, hey, hey. Guys, guys, hold no, on. No, I'm gonna die. I've got a silver lining. Uh, you hear that? He's got a silver <laughs> lining. Listen to me. I'm listening. Stop it, Nate. <laughs> I can't run backwards forever. You can actually put those row crop tires to use. Ah! He's actually row cropping. Yeah, see, look. See, look. I, I was trying a new new theory, right? You know, like where two two crops you can plant side by side. They help each other out. I'm getting tired. All right. Uh, this this is, like, really getting scary. I mean, you need to stop, on. Nate. No. Just, just come here. 
We just need no, to talk. That's no, all I want. No. I just want to talk. I don't want to talk to you yes, anymore. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. No, just, no, just come no. Here. Stay away I from me. I just want to hug you. Come here. Let me give no, you a hug. No. Just, just let me hug you one time. Patty, help me. Help me, Patty. Hey, you're on your own with that one, Yosho. No, help me, You know, Patty. maybe if you're nice about the gas gauges, I would be on your side. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to say anything else about gas gauges anymore. No. Are you ever going to give up? <laughs> I really? Because I think if you're not last, you going forwards, then you can't backwards. Oh, come on. No, 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 you're never going to catch me. I'm in the tractor. I'm in the tractor. <laughs> get out. Door's come locked. On. No, no, get no, no, out. I'm good. I'm good. No, no, no. Get out. Get I'm going to head this way. No, go this way. This is ridiculous. Hey, hey, yo, show. Come here. Come here. Just one second. What? No, no, no. no. You, you can talk to me from a distance. Okay. You want to know something? What? You are sleeping with Patty and Trinity tonight. You're not coming in that house. Okay, yep, yep, because I, I don't trust sleeping in the house there anymore. Oh, you're planting now. I was just going to plant some old seed radish. I don't trust none of y'all to plant anymore after that incident. I, I need a trailer date <coughs> before I lose my voice completely. Go ahead and head up to the store and go rent another trailer like the other one you were using. We'll just rent another one because it's been about time for us to get another trailer anyway. Um, hey, Trinity, do you want to start bringing silage up here to one of the silage pits? Sure can. I'll let you start taking the si get this John Deere. Um, bring it up here to the good silage pits. All right. Hi, buddy. Whoa! Hey, what are you doing in the truck? Hi, buddy. Hey, what's wrong? You look a little nervous. Oh, no, I'm I'm, I'm good. What's what's so far away for, buddy? Uh, I, I'm I'm gonna stay over here. I'm good. What? It's almost like you know you did something wrong. I don't know what he's talking about. Come in, Nate. Go ahead. I think we need bigger tractors. This thing struggles to pull this wagon. Oh, you hush over there. Let me deal with Yosha first, then I'll deal with you. Deal with me? Sure. What are you talking about? The yeah, Yosha ain't gonna hurt you. I was about to ask, uh, why do I have the pleasure of you uh, driving me to the BGA when I was perfectly capable of doing it? Because I had nothing else to do right now. Oh. All right, so let's go ahead and unload that in there. I'm going to sell all that. Hey, boys, y'all on the radio? Yeah, what's up? I got a question. Do y'all think we should just sell the flour we have straight out? Are we not making bread fast enough? No, not at all. We have 21,000 liters of flour currently sitting over here, and we have 24 liters of flour already in the machine. I'd say we sell the egg extra and let the bakery cook down some of that flour. I think we do too, because uh, especially I just put in more oats as it is. You, either one of y'all want to help me load up the uh, vegetables and the flour? Well, I'm already here, so I will. Really need to do some cleaning up today, yo show. I don't know what you're talking about. Too bad it's not easy to clean up a field that's been planted the wrong way. I guess I'll see if my science experiment's gonna work. You mean your accidental one? Oh, I mean, hey, you know, Dr. Pepper was actually supposed to be like a cure for cancer or something. He ended up making like a soda. And now look at it. You cannot compare your mistake to Dr. Pepper. I'm just saying. All right, boys, I'm gonna take this on. All right, bud, you're welcome for the help. Thank you, buddy. Oh, you know what we forgot? What's that? What? Trinity, we need to load up the bread. Oh, well, come on back. I'm coming. All right, let's get this braid loaded real fast. All right, there we go. Let's write this down. That looks good. Bye, Yosho. Bye, Yosho. Bye, Nate. Bye, Nate. Well, you know what? I'm going home. I'm done for the day. So okay. who's driving the red truck on the flatbed? Nobody. Okay, yeah, because that was a pretty good kickflip you almost just did there. I don't know what you're talking about. I've totally not broken the suspension on this new on this truck over here. Hey, boys, y'all on the radio? No. Too bad. That trailer just made $61,000 by itself. How's my truck? Um, could you believe it's really loose all of a sudden? All right, it's going on Facebook Marketplace. Like, it, it feels really loose. Like, I have to turn the wheel, like, 50 degrees before it, uh, starts to turn. That sounds like it's pretty cold. There's also no such thing as suspension anymore. I mean, I feel every bump. All righty, we got that done. Y'all gonna finish that up? Yep. Yeah. I'm working on the straw. All right, I'm gonna let y'all finish that up. And I think we'll call it a day after that, boys. I think that's a job well done. Is, is, is it on? Are, are we good to go? Oh, oh, okay. All right, all right.
Well, hello there, people, and how are you doing today? I am uh, the local salesman here in the middle of nowhere, and uh, firewood has skyrocketed in price. There is a nationwide shortage. I mean, the fact that we have a couple of pallets here tells you that it ain't going to last much longer. And guess what? We are paying double the price right now. So you need to come down to our store over here in the middle of nowhere where all our tractors are at. We'll, We'll do a good deal on a tree planter, too, because, I mean, if you're cutting down all these trees and, you know, you're selling all this firewood, then guess what? We need to be kind to Mother Nature and we need to put the wood back in the ground. You know you know what I'm saying here? All right, you well, know thank what? you. Yo, so. Was what? that good enough? Did you like Come that? down here. Oh, okay. Turn TV all right, off it's a wrap. Fast. Okay, all right, all right, I'm coming. Dude, the news, the news reporter just said that wood is worth double. Really? We need to sell it all. No, it, no. Okay, I, I get it. We need to sell it all. Well, what are you planning on doing with this money? Oh, paying the loan. Um, I didn't agree with buying his place to begin with. Doesn't matter. I mean, we got a loan to pay off, so let's pay the loan off. My name's not on that at all. I mean, I wanted to buy a new truck out here. Have you seen my truck? It's looking pretty terrible. Hold on, sir, sir, sir. You said your what? name's not on it at all? Okay, fine. Your name's not on it. But guess what is on it? That shed over there, that equipment you've been using, that is on that loan. Well, I get it. But I would like to buy me a new truck. I mean, I was kind of hoping to save some of that firewood. I mean, look around. We're actually doing really, really good right now. I mean, you just make a few more minimum payments and, you know, let me get a truck and let me actually use some of the money that my business does. You know what, Bob? We'll do that. Well, thank you. You know what? You're you're actually not a bad guy. Morning, Patty. Morning, guys. Hey, did you see that thing on the news about the firewood? Yeah, Nate was just telling me about it. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. The Yosho, he don't want to sell it at all. What's he want to save it for? A bonfire or something? Well, no, no. I'm, I'm kind of holding off on it because guess what? You know, if the demand will continue to go up, you know, if we can hold on to it a little bit longer, it may triple or quadruple in price. Yosho, you ever heard the money or you ever heard the phrase that money doesn't grow on trees? Well, that's literally the opposite happening right now. How, how, how is money growing on trees? Nate. He's too difficult to work with. Is, what do we need to do today? Anyway, so we're selling firewood. So we're selling firewood today. No. No. We're selling firewood, right. Okay, no. fine. We're not selling firewood. Um, we do actually got a lot of work to do over there at your place. We need to get that mo that land cut over there. On top of that, we need to get the new silage pit built. Let's get the mower over there, and let's go ahead and get the building supplies over there to build the new silage pit. Yosho? Yes. I ain't seen you cut grass in a long time, so you get the mower. All right. I guess that is different than doing firewood all the time, huh? Well, I guess I'll get the planting. Uh, You can come with me and help me build the pit. All right. Yeah, I guess. All right. We got to pull up over here. I don't think we need to go that far. I think just put it like right here in the middle, and I think this will be the perfect spot. I mean, it's not really many other places I would put a solid spit right over here. So let's go ahead and get this built. Okay. All right. Let's take that last stabilizer out. There we go. That's perfect. Sorry for hitting you with that 2x4. You're fine. We had to get this thing relocated over here. The Lord knows this thing's old, but I think it'll work. What do you think, Yosho? Looking good to me. All right, you think you can fill this up with silage today? Well, I mean, I'm going to need the loading wagon over here, and the windrow needs to come over here, so... uh, Hey, hey Yosho? Yeah? Sounds like you got a lot of traveling to do. Have fun. Yeah, it'd help if somebody would, like, help me bring it over here, and it won't take so long. We all got our own jobs we have to do. Thank you very much, sir. All righty. So, you know what? I don't agree with Yosha. I think it's time to sell the firewood. They're offering double money. I think it's time. So, I'm going to come over here, talk to the store clerk real fast, and get us a semi-truck and trailer. And ladies and gentlemen, after $8,000 later, we have ourselves a nice little semi-truck and trailer. We have it leased for the entire day, so any other things we need to take with us, we'll probably take it with us later on. But we need to get this firewood loaded ASAP. Alrighty, we gotta take this right here, back it on up. Now I give it to Yosha. Yosha did a pretty good, we did a pretty good job. We're getting this little forklift. Man, thank you, Patty. Heck yeah. This <laughs> looks, uh, looks great. Listen, it's only just lumber, okay? We'll, we'll it'll lift. Let me, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to leave before Yosho sees me here. I don't want any part of this. Yosho won't be mad. How many times I got to tell you that? Okay. Yeah, we're going to take all this and sell it. Especially double price. Like You just can't give up an opportunity like this. So we're going to pull on in here and start selling our firewood. $100,000. But we do have to go inside. I don't think they're going to give us exactly kind of $1,000. But they did say they'll give us a little bit extra for turning in the firewood. So let me come in here and get the extra little bit of money. All right. And there's an additional fifty thousand dollars so i'm going to go ahead and return the semi truck and trailer and i'm gonna head on back to the house and i'm gonna tell the boys the good news we get to pay back half the loan today which is actually really exciting for me 
Hi, buddy. Hey. How's it going? You stole my firewood, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. You stole my firewood, didn't you? Come here. No, I would never. Come here. You said that you would not sell my firewood. Someone stole it. I was in town in my truck. I was not nowhere else. Nope, nope. Uh, Patty told me. You you had a big truck over there, and uh, next thing you know, the firewood's gone. Patty, you snitch. I Come didn't here. say nothing. Bye, Yoto. I know where you sleep. I know where you sleep, too. Bye, bye, buddy. Hey, Yoto, you're going pretty quickly, bud. Yoto, Yoto, Yoto. I, I guess he might be still a little mad with me. But Yosho, I'm sorry, okay? It had to be done. Come on, Yosho, let's talk about this. Hey, Patty, you hear something on the radio? No, my my tractor's pretty loud. I, I can't hear anything at all. Fine, I like that then. I'll just pay the loan off with it then. I don't you dare. You know what? I'm putting $200,000 on the loan. I'm paying half of it off. Yeah, I know you put $200,000. Then I didn't say that you could. Oh, I didn't even spend it yet. But you know what it is going on now? You want to act like a big baby? I'll show you a big baby. I'm but I act like a big baby. You don't control all the money in the farm. But I do. I'm the person who decides what goes on right now, okay? We as a team decided to start this farm. And we had decisions that was made, okay? We got to pay off each other thing. We as a team is you're the one that makes all the decisions and none of us get to make any. I see how it is. You know what? You know what? Just Amen. Do whatever. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go windrow this field. You do whatever. All right, then we're going to take this tractor over here. I switched tractors with Patty. I had to refill it up with some diesel. Now we just got to pull up over here. Let's get... Uh, but yeah, there is some more feed already in here. So let's go ahead and feed that to these cattle and kind of go from there. All righty, so them cows are fed. I guess I'll take what's left over to the other cattle, get them fed real fast. And I guess hopefully Yosho's not that terribly mad at me still where he tries to hit me with the truck tractor again. All right. So we got them fed up for a little bit, so I'll leave them alone. I guess I'm done for over here, and I'll head back over to, to the main farm and find out what's the next thing needs to be done. All righty, so let's come over here, grab the mower. It's been a few days since I've actually done mowing, so it's not the worst thing in the world for me to do. Just go ahead and attach to this, and we'll take this on over there. We'll say it is actually wonderful, like, how big our yard is. Like, it's interesting to see, like, how far we've actually evolved. When was the last time we made hay? That's a good question. Can you go check the barn and see how much hay we have in the barn? Uh, sure. All right, thank you, Patty. I know we need to move some silage from over here to the place where we do that. Uh, you got five bales of hay sitting right here. Is that in the red barn where Yosho's is, or is that right there next to the actual place? That's right here next to the cows. All right, so we're good on hay for a little bit. All right, then I won't turn none of this into hay. We'll turn this all into... How much grass do we got? Uh, we got three big old bales of grass. You think we need to go ahead and, uh, maybe make a few more bales? Yeah, they're gonna need it. And there we go. All the grass is officially cut for one. Now we got to get all that grass picked up in one way or another. Probably going to bail some of it. I think it's about time for us to invest into like a, a wrapper. Because I think the pits are doing good for loose. But I think the bells need to start coming into play with us. And there we go. Drive over here. Fill this thing with some diesel. And we will park this piece of equipment and pick up the baler. Once we get the baler, I want to wash it off for fast. And then I'm going to head inside and I guess I'm going to put that $200,000 towards the payment. Hey, get you washed down real fast and pretty make you look like a good little baler again all right i'm gonna leave that run real fast let me come inside and i get the good old laptop and let's pay that bill and there it is two hundred thousand dollars have been paid to the loan so we are officially halfway out of debt and we only have half the amount of money to go but ladies and gentlemen we do not have long at all before the money comes due like the money is coming due pretty pretty quick They got him with that. Let's grab a fresh tomato so we can make some fresh stuff with it. See if this breakfast helps Yosho out at all. Makes him forgive me. There we go. That's that up. There we go. All right, Yosho. Yosho, come down. Oh, oh. <clears throat> hey. Good afternoon. Afternoon? No, it's morning. I mean, it's it's three o'clock in the afternoon, buddy. It was a rough day, okay? It was a rough day. I don't know. Oh, man, so. what is what is that? I don't know what he's doing. Here, here here's your lunch. Lunch slash breakfast. There you go. <laughs> it didn't fix the problem. Turn off the headlights. Is that better? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. These things I, are real bright if, up. Hey, hey, if you turn it off, I'll let you have lunch as well. Uh, you made me lunch? Yes, I made everybody lunch today. It's chicken. Chicken salads. You know you don't cook chicken medium well, right? No, it's, it's done. It's well done. All right, so Nate. Yes. You sold my wood yesterday. I messed up your field day four yesterday. I think we're even. I, I was about to say, let's call it even. I want to mess something up. You stay out of this. Get out of here. Get, you guys yeah, seem pretty get good at messing stuff up. I want to mess something up. You did. 
for my life. I wouldn't go that far, but hey. No, we got we got a lot to do today. Our debt is almost coming up to where we have to pay it, and we need some upgrades on the farm. So we, we need to hunker down and get the far, farm chores done ASAP. All right, I agree. Let's let's get it done because I want to buy a new truck. Fine. If we make enough, once we pay the debt off, you can buy a new truck. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so here, here's what we got today. So first, I'm going to start off with the wood, and we're going to get another load of firewood sold. Uh, it ran pretty long yesterday, so we got quite a bit of it. Uh, also, uh, we need to harvest the Yosho field. Yep. Uh, Nate, you got cattle that you need to work on today, right? Well, uh, we actually have to sell the, not sell, we have to take the current cattle to the uh, other barn. It's time to get more babies. All right, and then we got weeds everywhere, Then we got our productions from what I understand, uh, our bakery back there has been producing bread like crazy. All right, Patty, have fun. I'm going to let you take over my job. I'm going back in and watching TV. What was your job? Cattle. Oh, okay. Silage. I was going to move the silage anyway. All right, let's go to work. All right, guys, break. I guess the first thing for me to do would be to muck out the stalls first. Actually, Patty, do you want to do me a favor? What's up? Do you want to go ahead and start transporting the cattle? Yeah, sure. Anybody seen our trees over here in the tree farm? Yeah, uh, I know they were getting big last time, but they just grew up overnight. Good Lord. Somebody put miracle Grow on them or something? I mean, that's a good thing, though. They're about ready to cut down, aren't they? Uh, yeah, I think they are. The the pines for sure and uh, spruces should be good to go. All right. Woo-hoo-hoo! Yeah! We're getting somewhere now, boys! There's a hydros on this thing. Don't know. Don't. Yeah, boy. What are you doing? Listen, I got new hydraulics on this. You're going to tear it up, dude. Here, hang on. Hang on. Let me get you unstuck. Okay, there we go. All right, you got it. All right, we're going to set this right here. And we're good with that. I need him to switch tractors. You want this tractor? Yes, sir. Please. Thank you. Where is this thing at? It's got to be. Oh, there it is. Okay, found it. Hey, yo, show. Yeah, what's up? I'm glad you're selling that. It looks like we're going to have to buy some more cattle. I mean, wasn't that part of the plan? I didn't think we were going to have to just yet, buddy. I I forgot all about buying more calves and stuff like that today. Or do we want to hold off on the calves until we pay that loan off? Are we raising cattle for beef or for milk? Both. Don't we have our existing adult cows? Aren't they about ready to be sold? Kinda. Can we use that to buy more cows? Well, not yet. Remember, cattle are like a two-year adventure before you start making money on them. All right. I was just asking. We got one load of feed done. Now we just got to go ahead and take this down here and hopefully not come back for a second load anytime soon. We'll I'm wait for him to move out of the way and then I'm going to try to pull this in the hair. And then I guess I'll go get another total feed ration mixture just so that these cattle will be fed throughout the day. It's not going to be much, but hey, it'll be enough for them to lay down on some. Actually, let me get this other bell in there. Let's scrape all this stuff out of here. Make sure it looks good inside of here for the cattle. Good boy. Oh, yeah, these cows are looking pretty good and healthy. We need to start transferring more to slurry because the plant ain't using enough slurry at one time. They're, they're kind of really slow going with their slurry. We're going to start loading up all these tomatoes real fast because we got to sell the tomatoes, the flour, and, of course, the bread that's over there. We have got to load all that up so we can take that in town and get it all sold. All right, Nate, I think I'm going to go try to knock out that uh, plowed field or that grass field and plow it real quick. All right, sounds good. There we go. And that is the last little bit. We can go ahead and take all this stuff to the store. And yeah, this is a lot of stuff. We have six pallets of lettuce, seven pallets of flour, 18 pallets of tomatoes, and 13 pallets of bread so we gotta take this on down to the store hopefully it sells for a pretty good price fifty one thousand dollars is all this was worth wow I, I, I thought i was gonna be worth more well is what it is i mean we still made pretty good money off that i do want to stop for a second and pick up a couple things from the store i know there's a couple things that everybody was saying we needed on the farm so let me try to get it so the first thing they said we need we need this right here it's actually 55 percent off it's twenty two thousand dollars we're gonna pick that up real fast there's also one or two things more i'm gonna go ahead and pick out real fast so this right here is going to be our our new way we move silage this is supposed to be a lot easier to move silage with is this conveyor belt now this tractor we're actually going to park this over here out of the way for a little bit i'm probably going to have either yosha or patty bring me back over here to pick this up where you at buddy you passed me well come over here and i need you to pick me up and take my truck over there because i need to leave the trailer here what in the world did you get Oh, well, this is just load one. Oh, my goodness. I thought we had a debt to pay off. We do. We'll still pay it off. I mean, all this here right here is, is a conveyor belt. I can see that. You know what this is good for? Hmm. Loading trailers with silage. Nice. So that means we don't have to actually take the bucket and start unloading loading up with silage anymore. We can use this. All right, you ready to go, Tom? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, see you at the farm. And by the way, we do have another tractor now that has row crop on it. That'll be nice. Instead of fighting over one. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. 
And now we're getting to speed. I'm going to let that start filling that up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the other one around so that I can at least have both of them ready to go. So I can leave one loading as I go and then come back. I'll have one loaded. So that's the first one full. So I'm going to go ahead and take that into town. And the second one, go ahead and start getting full. I got to give it to Yosha. That was actually a pretty smart idea by getting the second trailer. So now we're able to dole load these out of here. Pretty smart. There's one trailer. So we need to make a minimum of roughly $25,000 to be in the green on the conveyors. So that's what we, that's our target at least for these. Load number three. And we have rebroke the 100k mark. Boys, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I think I'm gonna sell what's left in this pit. And I'm gonna save the other two pits for later. Okay. Because I'll at least have the conveyor belts paid off with this. Sounds like a plan to me. All right, there we go. I think we've already paid it off. I know the next load will guarantee you pay it off. So now we just gotta rush over here. I know they're processing stuff as fast as they can for us. But I know with like how much slurry and maneuver we're going to end up having before the due date for the loans, I think we're going to end up just having to sell the slurry and all that stuff just straight out of the out of the pen for a little bit. Because I just don't see the point in us putting it in there if we're not going to get the money off of it in time. Alrighty. So it should knock out this last little bit of the pile over here. And while it does that, I'm going to go ahead and take this run over here off. Might get one of the other boys to take off that run once it gets finished. And there's another 5k. So this thing... The equipment should be paid off, at least the conveyor belts. Now, I know the other equipment shouldn't take too much longer to pay off. And truly and honestly, we have a lot more stuff still to go before we're just out of time. Alrighty, and we're taking load number six. It ended up having a lot more left in there than I thought, so we may get a seventh load out of it as well. Alright, Yosho, so I got one empty trailer. We're finally out done with the silage. Do you want me to go ahead and start doing some of the field while you get some of that done? Yeah, go ahead. I'll try to get a few more of these things uh, out of the field. All right, 10-4. All righty, so we're getting this thing finished. Since our header's not really wide enough, we're having to kind of go through here and be very careful and kind of snip the edge over here so we can get all of it out. Because, I mean, if we're going to have it in the field and we're going to harvest it, we might as well harvest it correctly. Not going to lie, it does look beautiful. Like, low-key, seeing two different crops side by side like this, it's an interesting test. It's just, this is not what we should have been doing with this field. We do need to kind of check over the combine after this one this is an old combine of course and i don't know how much longer she's gonna be able to run without being serviced we actually need to start servicing a lot of our equipment i mean i know we just got a lot of it from the dealership and it has that dealership service tag on it but it's getting to the point where we've had it higher hours than we should be without servicing hey patty yeah you want to call this last little bit of a row for the day and we call it a day i don't know about you i'm tired I'm scrolling through TikTok. I'm watching funny videos. I heard tired. Yes, please. Let's talk. Oh, today. God. I'm, I'm so tired. I'm <laughs> going to go to bed. God, I can't yeah, work see, anymore. See? Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna just gonna lay down right here. You know what? I was gonna be nice to everybody and take y'all out to eat, but you know what? You can stay home, Mr. Faker. And there we go. The last of the fields. So I went ahead and put one field over there, one field right here. And I, of course, we had that one big field right there. So we actually need to go ahead and start planting these fields today. On top of that, get the silage moved. There's a lot of fields that need to be planted over here today. On top of that, we got a lot more work to do, ladies and gentlemen. The debt is coming up very soon. It's either next month or the month after. I'm not 100% sure I need to talk to Yosho, but it, it, it's coming. It's, it's right here at us. Like, it's time to either figure out when the debt's coming because we're, we're almost here. So I'm going to head on over to the farm. I think the boys been up already starting. We're doing some work. I don't know what they've been up to. I decided I wanted to go plow those fields because I've been asking everybody else to do them, but no one wanted to do it. So I figured I'd go ahead and knock it out for the day. Oh, hey, Nate. What's up, brother? What are you doing in the grain? Oh, uh, you know we got a bunch of a bunch of oat in here? Yeah, I know there's oats in there. One of y'all need to take this and put it in the mill, and then somebody might want to take that load of silage behind it and sell it. Okay. I'll, I'll go take the silage truck. if you'll take I know, that's my truck. First one there gets it. It's mine. How are you so fast? I ran track in high school. It's not raising two-year-olds. All right, let me see if I can find... There he is. Oh, hey, what's up, Nate? Come over here, check on, see what your progress is. Ah, uh, well, cutting firewood, trying to get the money. You broke or something? Uh, no, got to carry you, apparently. Oh, yeah, 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 that's a good idea. So, I think today I'm going to go buy us a new harvester. Okay, what about this debt that we got to pay? We have plenty of time to pay it. Like, how much time? One or two months. Really? I'm going to sell them, I'm going to give them back their old harvester, and we're going to trade in for the new one, okay? <sighs> 
Okay. Another thing we probably need to think about is we probably need to plant another field of trees so that way when we cut this one down, we got the other one growing over there. Yeah, we can eventually do that. Eventually. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so I'll let you get back to cutting your firewood. I'm going to head to town. I'm going to take the new, I'm going to take the old harvester with me and I'll see you in a little bit. All right. Anything else need to be done? Feather sheep yet? Uh, sheep isn't mine. That's, uh, Patty's. Well, someone needs to take care of them sheep, because Pat don't let like Patty's doing his job. All right, I'll check on them. All right, I'm going to take this back up here and drop this off and get ourselves a new harvester. Man, I can't wait. I've been excited. I've been wanting me one of these and want a bigger one. I want a better one than what we currently got, because don't get me wrong. It's a nice little harvester, but I think we can do better. So I'm going to talk with the store clerk guy, and we're going to see what kind of deal we can do by getting this trade in and getting the new harvester. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, the newest purchase to the farm. We end up getting this over here for roughly $50,000. She's heavily used, but she will definitely work. It's a 2003 model, and I think this right here will work perfectly for what we're about to put her into. And especially, look at the size of that adder. Nate! What is this, man? You like it? I love it. Then we're going to knock out the fields a little bit faster. Oh, way faster. And it's red. That's a good looking, that's a good looking harvester, man. Okay. Hey, hang on. Hang on. I need to point something out here. What's that? What's that? What's that? How is it the fact that I'm always buying green and he's always buying red? What has Nate, happened? Nate has the taste in the family, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> oh, what yeah. Stuff to do? Oh, you should have, you should have known that. Come on. Boys, I don't know about you, but look at this working with. I can live with this. You're cruising. And there we go. We are officially done with harvest today. I'm going to go ahead and take the harvester back to the farm. Sounds like a plan. I'm going to pick up this last little bit of straw. Sounds good. All right, I'm going to leave this right here for Trinity so that Trinity can figure out how to unload the wheat. And now on to the next job at hand, and that would be planting. So what church am I taking? I think this is the only one to take. Hey, Patty, what are you currently working on? I'm putting some hay bales onto this trailer so I can take them over to the cows. I moved over to the barn at me and Trinity's farm. You need me to do something? I was about to ask you, do you want to start loading silage up into one of the wagons and start selling it? Yeah, let me get this over there and put away and I'll do that. 10 for. Hey, Nate, you on the radio? Go for it. Um, what do we want to do with all these grass bales? Uh, oh yeah, we need, I forgot to get the silage wrapper. Uh, can you go to town and pick up a silage wrapper and start wrapping the bales? Sure, uh, what size were these bales again? Do you remember? What size is the balers, too? I think they're 180 centimeters. Then that's what they are. Alrighty, so now we're able to start getting these things planted. I'm actually I'm going to pull this little sucker in so it gives me a little bit of an overlap. Now that we've done a good little strip, we'll come over here real fast to make sure. So this is oats, and this is oats as well. All right, so we're planting the same thing all the way throughout. Let's go ahead and get this field knocked out as quick as we can because there's a lot more tasks to do today. I'm telling Nate, you broke the trailer. Hell, that's a lease. We don't care. You broke the what? Patty broke the trailer. I had no such thing. What trailer? The, there's no broken trailer. What trailer? <laughs> oh, one of the goosenecks. Why do we let you work with valuable equipment that don't even belong to us? Nate, you're you're talking to the wrong person right now, bro. I'm gonna let you know. <laughs> I didn't break the deck of trailer. It was Trinity. Do you realize that we don't own those trailers, right? Yeah, he said it don't matter. It's a lease. He's like, we don't care. And then he just like that. smashed it. It's, yeah, literally in pieces right now. Trendy, do we need to talk to HR? I didn't do that. Patty's lying. I, I don't care. HR needs to have a meeting with you. Patty, HR needs to have a meeting with you as well. Oh, well, I am the HR manager, so. But you're not. We, we hire an external source to be our HR manager. Hey, HR, are you still on the line? Yes, sir. What can I do you for? I need you to bring you and your little new hat down here to the farm. We're having two employees that are getting into fights, and they're blaming each other, and they're breaking equipment that we're leasing from the shop. I mean, it's just, it's just becoming a mess. Oh, so I need to bring my beat em stick, huh? Pretty much. All right, I'll be down there in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Yeah, you hear that, Trinity? You're in trouble. Me, you're in, me. He's you're in trouble. Both. Yeah. Hey, yo, show. Yeah, what's up? Hey, I just called HR on them two. I'm going to be back in the farm in a little bit. Time to get done with this. Hopefully, I'll be HR there. We have an HR department? Yeah, we, we use external sources. You mean the store clerk with a different hat? Kind of, yeah. 
You have fun yeah. with that. I'm wrapping bales. Yeah, you have fun with wrapping your bales. I'll, I just got to finish this one field, and then I'll be over to the farm so I can help HR. All right, sounds good. There we go. We have everything closed up, so now we're just going to take this on down to the farm, and we are officially done with most of this work over here in these fields. I guarantee one of the other boys is probably going to want to take over for one of the fields close to the house. Hello there. How's it going there, gentlemen? Going pretty good. Apparently we have a problem. You have a problem? Massive problem. These two individuals are fighting, tearing up equipment that's leased from the shop. I mean, it's all kind of problems. Do, do you have any proof of this there, sir? They both admitted to it is broken. Now, they won't say who did it, but they both said it's broken. Oh, okay. So it's it's a he said, she said. Exactly. Or and they're fighting. I've, I've physically watched them fight. It, it's this whole nundrum. So break them up. All Look, right, if he would have ate my Doritos this morning, we would have been fine. They were mine. You know what? If you get the right kind of Doritos, I ate I them because they're terrible. They don't make yeah, I had to sense. get them away from you. Is it like this all the time? I bet you even ate three more freaking ramen noodles. You know what? You said you were going to make dinner last gentlemen, night. Gentlemen, you made it yourself. Gentlemen. Hey. Hey. What? You oh. two. I have been brought in here from a sales clerk. I had to go put on my hat. What? Nothing. You know what? I got an idea. Is you a chainsaw? Here's you a chainsaw. Oh, all right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. Hey, hey, you two, stop. This is not safe, what? sir. What do you think you're doing? You brought me out here and you're going to hand them two chainsaws? <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> quit, quit, quit. Hey. Come here, come here. He just sprayed you with those. Wow. What am I going to do with you guys? All right, all right, you two, come here. Put the what is your name, down. Mr. Stork? Put the hose down. Therapist, family therapist put, guy. Put, put the hose down. Fine, fine. All right, you two. Y'all better listen to me. Why is that? He's Who paying me to be here. That's why. We didn't decide for you to pay to be be here. Yeah. Oh, we're going to play that game, are we? All right. Then uh, a <laughs> dust of water and a crust of bread, and that's all you get for dinner tonight. All right. That'll be $500. He said all we're getting is a glass of water and a piece of bread. You want to just, like, get on him? I mean, we could just leave. We don't live here. Hold on. You do work here, and you do live in the house that's owned by me, so you need to listen to what he says. Hey, Trinity, I've seen some cool, like... Overland trailers online recently. What do you think about moving into a trailer? Where'd you find these guys at? One of them I'm kin to. The other one I bought his property. Oh, oh we can hit the road. Van. Okay, oh. well we got it all fixed up, guys. We're gonna go hit the road. We're gonna go buy a van. Uh, we're we're done with this whole farming thing. So uh, exactly, yeah, we're done. Guys, have a good day. Well, um, I think my work here is done. Have a good day, sir. What am I gonna do with these guys? You know what? After that, I'm going to sell them. Get me some toast. So, how do you feel about solo farming? No. You uh, you can't go nowhere. What do you mean I can't go nowhere? You know Patty technically can't go nowhere either, right? Oh, uh, yeah, true. I just wanted to see what your face was like. It wasn't as funny as I thought it was going to be. Oh, well, I tried. Well, you know what? It's a little serious. We may have just lost two employees. Let's go inside the house, and hopefully they'll call us. Okay. Yeah, uh, they got to get hungry at some point, right? Yeah. Well, he's going to want his paycheck at some point. I don't know if he knows it or not. I haven't been putting his direct deposit in yet. I should have saving any cash. All right, let's turn on TV and watch my favorite YouTuber. What's up, all you daggum farmers? Welcome back to the Cow Farm Chronicles here in Farming Simulator 22. All right, I guess I'll grab me an orange. Oh, I guess it's enough TV. Let's, I guess we probably need to get to work, huh? Yeah, I don't see anybody... Yeah, I guess, I guess they should quit. Yeah, it's it's looking like it. Yeah, I'm not doing this without them. Oh, you don't think we can handle it? Yo, so we have four fields to harvest today. On top of that, we need to we need to cut the grass. On top of that, our loan is due today. What? You didn't tell me it was due today? It's due today, so we also need to come <sighs> up with another $150,000. So we got a lot of work that needs to be done. Um, Not to forget that we also need probably have a lot of fields that need to be sprayed, a lot of stuff to be taken care of, so we might want to go find them. Uh, well, I mean, I guess our first place to go look will probably be in town. Uh, we probably need to rent a semi anyway. Yeah, town will be the best place to go look. Let's go to, let's go see if we can find these people. They can't go on too far. I mean, I know they're not at their house because I did tell them that if they leave, that they can't go back to the back to the house. Check in here around the store. You want to go talk to the store clerk real fast? See if he's seen anybody. Yeah, let me let me go see what he's got. All right, man. He didn't say he's seen anyone. I mean, nobody's come by here. I told him we were gonna need a semi truck and a trailer here soon, so he said he'd get one in for us though. All right, sounds good. Hey, hey, red truck. There they are. Oh no, there they are. There they are. They're here. Dad, go. Oh no. Hello, gentlemen. 
Hey, fellas. So, what you doing? Eating ice cream. What are you doing? We're coming to ask y'all to come back to work because we got a lot of work to do today. Yeah, I bet you do. Yeah, I bet you really do. Alongside of you guys. No, I'm, I'm hanging out in the sunshine, eating my Sunday. I, I like my spot right here. Hey, Patty, you realize you have no choice. He has a choice. <laughs> we have to actually convince him. Do you forget your name is on the debt? Listen here, I can change my name, start a whole new life. That don't stop the name, your, your name being associated with this debt. Just because you change your name, they'll have those legal documents. I could file bankruptcy and fake my death. I know a guy. You know what? Fake your death, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that. I, I, I will happily, happily take your insurance money. I was going to say, you're not signing on my insurance on. papers anymore. Come on, Patty. Let's just let's just go. It's Trinity. No, come here. Come here. <laughs> All right. I guess we'll, we'll help you out. Trinity, get out of here. We need you to come back to work, okay, buddy? I don't even know why you got mad at me and left. Now you brought that, that freaking HR guy that was stupid. Because you two were arguing like two-year-olds. We're friends. That happens. We live yeah. together. Do I need to enroll y'all two in the kindergarten again and teach y'all how hey, to be hey, friends? Hey, 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 hey. This is why we left in the first hey. place. You know what? You know what? No. Yeah. no, 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 no let's get back in the truck, man. Yep. See you guys later. If we joke, hey, 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 come here. Stop. Hey, 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 stop. Are you, gonna, hey. are you done yelling at us? Hey, yes, I'm done yelling. Okay, well, you can talk to us from in the truck. All right, I'll see y'all at the farm. Better? We'll see how this works out. Yeah, I don't know. Totally up to you, Trinity. You can totally drive away. He ain't gave me my last check, so I need to go in his house and find my check. That gum. Can make it. Uh, oh, that gum. Oh, my God. <laughs> Man, I just <laughs> see my life flash before my eyes. <laughs> and he wonders why we sure quit. you sure you want to stay here now, Yosho? <laughs> Nate. Yeah? You need to get your eyes checked, dude. Oh, it's perfect. I didn't hit you. Oh, man. You're okay. So, what's first, Nate? Who's doing what? Pick whatever job you want to do. All right. I guess this I'll thing's harvest. got bunk beds. Dang, it's got a whole sleeping area. Jeez, this thing's cool. Okay, so this is what y'all doing? All right, get every all those pilots there thought I load on the back of this trailer and get it get it sold. All right, all right. sounds good. Now we're gonna turn on the good old spray here. We're gonna spray these fields. Yosho is currently working on getting the fields harvested. I'm gonna work on getting these fields sprayed. I know I've been the main person working on these. We're gonna look at getting the cattle fed because it's the last day. We gotta make as much money as we can in a short time period. All right, so we got the first field completely sprayed. Now we gotta head over here to the last two fields, get them knocked out pretty quickly it shouldn't take too long at all it's been actually pretty fun getting these things sprayed because there's a lot of width to it and of course these weeds are a little bit taller than we want them to be and it's also really nice looking and there we go we have all the fields sprayed we pretty much should have a lot of easy going stuff from here on uh we have both the oak fields and of course the good old swimming field ready to go can you go any faster? Well, no, man. I mean, it's stuck at four miles an hour. That's all I've been able to get out of it. Did you put it in the next gear? Is that what this lever's for? Oh, really? Okay. My apologies. So you're telling me we've been sitting here waiting on you because you... Okay. Uh-huh. Pretty much. Hey, look, I'm doing eight miles an hour. Is that better? That's a lot better. I'm going to let you continue working on these. I'm going to go help Trinity out and see if I can help him load up that semi-truck. All right, sounds good. How's it going? It's going pretty good. How you doing? Doing pretty good. Come on here, check, see what your progress is looking like. Uh, we're getting there. It's taking a minute. All right, I'm here to help you out. Let's get this thing knocked out and loaded. All right, man, I appreciate it. All right, Trinity, I'm going to take these in town. Okay, bud, go right ahead. Hey, anybody on the radio? Go for it. Uh, anyone can bring me the trailer. I'm, uh, I'm actually... 98% full. Yeah, I'll come I'll come get you. Thanks, sir. All right, boys, we're at 130. Will any 70,000 more? 70,000 more? Uh, is that after selling all the off. wood? No, we ain't done selling wood yet. And there we go. All right, boys, it's official. We can pay off the loan. Question Let's is, go, are you going to do it? Are you going to find something else to buy? Don't you talk to that salesman. He'll talk you into something. You know what? I'm I'm still up here. Hey, on. I'm going to pay the loan right now. How, how much do we owe? Uh, let me go talk to him first. Nope, nope, nope. I'm hopping on right now to make the payment. It's 200K. Go ahead and pay it. All right, all right, before you spend it. There we go. We're out of debt, boys. Woo! That's good. All right, so can we stop all this farming stuff? What? Kind we just it, now yeah. start making profit. Well, I was, you know, thinking more of, like, the apparel, and we get into clothing, and, you know, like we originally started talking about. Well, yeah, that's coming, right? Eventually. We got to build all the funds now back up, because we just sold all of our lumber. We got to get all of our revenue back up to where we can afford the building. The building does cost $100,000. But before that, I'm sorry to say this, I did promise you to show a new truck. Yeah, you know what? We're, we might need to call that HR manager again. I, I didn't know he was going to be I, I think 
think we need to own Tell you what, Patty, I'll give you Nate's truck. You can't give my truck away. Oh, it's I the tried. company truck. It owns. It belongs to all of us. All righty. So we're taking this load here. This is load number two out of that silage pit. This truck and trailer has come in so much and so handy. We're making roughly like 30 grand per load, and we only pay like five grand to release the trailer for the day. So we're coming out a way ahead compared to where we needed to be. Oh, my bad. We're making 16 grand per load. Oh. So it's not as much as I thought it was, but I mean, we're still making profit compared to not leasing this at all because we're saving ourselves a ton of time of drive time by having this. And here comes the last little bit. We're done. I can finally take this on to the shop, sell it for one last time, give all this back, and try to get a ride back to the farm. I guarantee one of them are probably going to be able to. They're all probably working. But see if I can get a ride back to the farm. Actually, I'm going to go and see if I can call my radio. Hey, Yosho, Patty, Trinity. Yosho? My CB must be messing up. That's weird. It is what it is. We're going to drop this thing off, and I guess I'll get a ride back to the farm. Or I need to take this trailer right here with me because we need to go ahead and load up more pallets and stuff on it. I wonder if them boys are okay. Kind of worrying me that get them on the radio. Hey, boys, you on the radio? Weird. All right, let's head on over to the farm. Head on to the farm. Let's see if I can find these boys. They weren't answering earlier. Well, I still got a couple bales I gotta remove and pick up. Where did everybody's trucks go? They must have left and got something on it. Let me go inside and see if I can see if they left any kind of note. Oh, here it is. All right. Hey, brother. I'm writing this letter to tell you something important. I've decided to leave the farm, and I've taken the money from our bank account with me. I worked really hard on my firewood business, but it felt like you kept using the money I made for your own projects. This wasn't fair to me. So I took the money that I think should be mine to make up for what you used. I'm leaving because I want to do things my own way now. I'm tired of all my hard work just going into your ideas. It's not just about the money, but it's about being fair and respecting each other's hard work. I know you might not get why i'm doing this but i hope one day you'll understand we've had good times on the farm but now i need to go my own way take care of the farm and maybe you'll start to see how important it is to value what other people do just like you value your own stuff goodbye brother what have i done and ladies and gentlemen, as y'all see, the end of Old Truck Season 1 is here. If y'all want to see the Season 2, hit the like button, subscribe. Let's try to get 500 likes on this mega cut. Thank y'all so very much. Love and support y'all gave this entire series. It will be coming back. Just give us some time. We have another project in between. Thank y'all so very much. Love and support y'all. Show to me, the entire team here. We'll see y'all guys next time. Peace! Yeah.